Hey guys, it's your boy, Peter John. Welcome to the production company's logo history, a video which will show you the history of logos from various production companies. I hope you like it. It is about Columbia Pictures. 1924 to 1925, I can't see that much, but I believe that there is a oval shape, and inside it there are a lady and the word Columbia, Pictures and Corporation all in black text. Here is an intro. Nineteen twenty five to nineteen twenty six, there is a black circle, and inside it there is a lady holding a white object. Also, on the top of the circle there is the word Columbia in black text, and on the bottom there is the word pictures in black text. Here is a variant. Nineteen twenty six to nineteen thirty two, there is a black circle, and inside there are the word Columbia and pictures all in white text, and a lady holding a torch. Also, under the lady there is a white shape, and inside it, there are the word gems, of, the in screen all in black text. Here is an intro. 1932-1933, there is a white circle with a blue outline, and inside it, there are the words Columbia Pictures in red text, two red stars in each side of the circle, and in the middle, there is a red circle with the lady holding the torch inside it. Here is a black variant. 1933 to 1936, the outline has been removed, the text is now white, the circle is now black, and the woman is closer to the right. Here is an intro. 1936 to 1964, there is a lady holding a torch. Here is an intro. 1936 to 1938 there is a rectangle, and inside it there are the word Columbia in black, and the word pictures in black and white text, but the word pictures is inside a white square. Also, there is the lady holding the torch. Here is the red version and an intro. 1938 to 1945, there is a white circle, and inside it there are the word Columbia and pictures all in black text and the lady holding the torch. 1945 to 1964, there is the lady holding the torch, and behind her, there is a white banner with the word Columbia and pictures all in black text inside it. 1964 to 1975, there is a gray rectangle, and inside it, there is a letter C in gray text, and a gray torch silhouette connected to the edges of the square. 1975 to 1981, there is a black half circle, and inside it, there is a white sunburst. Below it, there are the word Columbia and pictures all in black text. Here is an intro. 1981 to 1989, there is a black shape, and inside it there is the lady holding the torch, and behind her, there is a white sunburst. Also, below the shape there are the words Columbia Pictures in black text. Here is an intro. 1989 to 1993, there is the lady holding the torch, and behind her, there is a black sunburst. Also, there are the words Columbia and pictures under the lady. 1993 to the present, there are the words Columbia and pictures in black text, and on the right there a black square with the lady holding the torch inside it. Here is the stacked version, the color version and a bumper. 
2004 to 2014, there are two yellow lines, and between them there is the word cookie in red text, and the word jar in blue text. Also, there is a red trademark. Here is a variant and a bumper. Now I am going to talk about Mulvana. 1977 to 2005, the is a black and white polar bear. Here is a bumper. nineteen eighty five to two thousand four now there are seven black stars surrounding the text and the polar bear and the word Mulvana in black text under the polar bear here is a bumper nineteen ninety five to two thousand five the polar bear and the text are now blue the stars are white and now there is a blue arc surrounding the text and the polar bear here is the print version the word mark and a bumper 1999 to 2005, the stars in the text are bigger, and the font has changed. Here is the print version and a bumper. 2004 to 2016, the polar bear is more detailed, the font has changed, and now there is only one blue star on the top right of the logo. Here is the print version, the horizontal version, the wordmark, the symbol and a bumper. 2016 to the present, the star is cut in half, the font has changed, and the polar bear is now stylized. Here is the print version, the horizontal version, the symbol, the wordmark and a bumper. I am going to talk about Super Prod Animation. Before I begin to talk about this logo, I want to tell you that I wasn't able to find much information about it. Sorry. Something to the present, there is the word super prod in white text, and under it there is a line, and under the line, there is the word animation. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I am going to talk about Fry's Distribution Company. 1981 to 1986, there is a weird white shape that look like a diamond, and under it, there are the words fries, distribution and company, and in red text and under it, there are the words a, subsidiary, of, fries, entertainment and ink, all in red text too. Also, behind the shape there is a black shadow and brown background with eight black lines. Here is a bumper. <laughs> nineteen eighty three to nineteen ninety three the shape is now pink the text is now in white text and the background is now gray here is a bumper I am going to talk about Animoca Studios. 2009 to the present, there is the word Animoca in black text, but the letter O was replaced to a green circle with a green coffee pot inside it, and on the bottom of the logo, there are the words creative and pixels all in black text. Here is the print version. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about DNA Productions. 1991 to 1994, there is a rectangle, and inside it there are the weird faces and under the rectangle, there are the words Deanna Productions Incorporation in black text, and a black number 1993. Here is a variant, the presence version and a bumper. What good 1994 to 1994, there is the word Deanna in white text with a black outline. Here are some variants and a bumper. nineteen ninety four to two thousand two there is a character and surrounding it there are the words Deanna productions and ink all in pink text here are two variants and a bumper two thousand two to two thousand six there is a monkey and behind him there is a beach background and above him there are the words Deanna and productions all in black text with yellow outline here is a meme sent by a t and t logo and more stuff on my discord server and a bumper. Ha, I'm Paul. 
I am going to talk about Studio B Productions. 1996 to 2004, there is a black TV, and inside it there is a black road on a yellow background, and under the TV, there is the word Studio B in black text. Here is the symbol, the word mark and a bumper. 2004 to 2011, now inside the TV there is a letter B in red text on a yellow background formed by yellow letter Bs, and under the TV the font has changed, the letter B is now in red text, and also the word productions in black was added. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I am gonna talk about Decode Entertainment. 1997 to 1998, there is the word decode in purple text, and under it, there are the words entertainment and corporation also in purple text. Here is a bumper. 1998 to 2010, there is a black rectangle, and inside it, there is a cute yellow robot with a black outline, and on the bottom, there is the word decode in white text on a black background. Here is the symbol and a bumper. All right, now I am gonna talk about Ragdoll Productions. 1984 to 1995, there is a doll holding a candle, and behind the candle, there is a golden shape. Here is a bumper. 1993 to 1995, the shape is now yellow, and the doll is inside a black rectangle. Also, on the bottom of the rectangle there is a white banner, and inside it, there is the word ragdoll in red text. Here is a variant and a bumper. 1995 to 1995, now the text is under the doll, and the doll is on a blue background. 1995 to 2000, the doll isn't holding a candle anymore, the text is now in red text, and now the text and the doll are inside a blue shape. Here is a variant and a bumper. 2000 to the present, there is the word ragdoll in black text, and on the right of it, there are two eyes in the mouth, and also a orange curly hair. Here is the print version, the stacked version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Sony Pictures Animation. 2006 to 2011, there are the words Sony and Pictures all in blue text, and under it, there is the word animation also in blue text. Here is the print version and a bumper. 2011 to 2018, the font has changed, and the text is now in dark blue text. Here is the print version, the 3D version and a bumper. 2018 to the present, the font has changed, and the text is now in black text. Here is a bumper. 2000 to 2000, there are the words guru, animation, and studio. Here is the print version, the 3D version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Guru Studio. 2000 to 2000, there are the words Guru, Animation and Studio all in blue text. 2001 to 2002, the text is now in dark blue text, and the font of the word Guru has changed. 2002 to 2007, there is a red rectangle, and inside it there is a letter G in white text. Here is the word mark. 2007 to 2011, there is a black cloud, and inside it there is the word Guru in white text. Here is a variant. 2011 to the present, there is the word guru in yellow, orange, pink and purple text on a black outline. Here is the print version and a bumper. 
I'm gonna talk about spiffy pictures. 2004 to 2008 and 2015 to the present, there is a yellow circle on a black outline, and inside it, there are the words spiffy and pictures in black text, and between them, there is a cute face. Here is a bumper. Spiffy. All right, now I'm gonna talk about stretch films. 1985 to 1991, here we have the logo of the first stretch film's name, John R. Dilworth. There are the words A, John, R, Dilworth and Film in blue text. 1991 to 1994, they changed its name to Stretch Films. There is a smile and above it, there is the stretch in purple text and below the smile, there is the word Films also in purple text. Here is a variant. 1994 to 1995, they changed its name to John R. Dilworth again. There are the words A, John, R, Dilworth and Hallucination all in white text. 1994 to 1998, there is a mouth with teeth, and inside each teeth, there is a letter of the words stretch and films in black text. Here is a variant. 1998 to 2002 and 2005 to the present, there is now the word ink in black text under the mouth. Here are two variants and a bumper. I'm gonna talk about 20th Century Studios. 1935 to 1968, here we have the logo of the first 20th Century Studios name, 20th Century Fox. There are the words 20th Century and Fox in white text with a black shadow, and the words are divided by a white line. Here is the red version, the yellow version and an intro. <laughs> From 1945 to 1972, there is the word 20th in black text, and under it, there are the words Century and Fox also in black text. Here is the orange version and the red version. 1972 to 1982, there are the words 20th, Century and Fox in white text with a black shadow, and between the words there are two white lines. Also, there is a black arc surrounding the text. Here is the inverted version, the variant and an intro. From 1982 to 1994, the arc was removed, there are now two white searchlights, and the logo is now inside a black rounded rectangle. Also, the font has changed. Here is the inverted version and an intro. nineteen eighty seven to twenty twenty the searchlights are closer and the font has changed here is the inverted version the colored version a rare variant twenty twenty to the present they finally changed its name to twentieth century studios the font has changed and the word fox was replaced to the word stu okay now i'm gonna talk about telltale productions nineteen ninety six to nineteen ninety nine there is a dog coming out from a dog collar, and under it there is the word telltale in red text, and under it, there is the word production in black text between two black lines. 1999 to the present, there is a black shape, and inside it, there is the word telltale, but the tail part is in another font and in green, yellow, pink and blue text. Here is a bumper. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Class Geek Supo. 1989 to 1999 and 2001 to 2002, there are six rectangles, and inside each one of them, there is a letter of the word Klasky in black text and in different fonts, except the letter Y is in purple text, and under these squares, there are another five square rectangles, and inside each one of them, there is a letter of the word Xupo in white text, and all with the same font, and on the right of these rectangles, there is the word ink in black text. Here is a bumper. nineteen ninety one to two thousand eight and twenty twelve to twenty twelve the logo is more detailed and the font of the word ink has changed here is a bumper <laughs> Two thousand three to two thousand three, two thousand eight to two thousand eight, and twenty sixteen to twenty sixteen. The word ink has been removed. All the fonts have changed. The letter Y is now in black text, and some letter are now out of the rectangle. Here is a bumper.
All right, now I'm gonna talk about Village Roadshow pictures. 1986 to 2012, there are a lot of black triangular shape forming letters V, and under them there are the words Village Roadshow pictures, all in black text. Here is the horizontal version, the silver version, the colored version and a bumper. Twenty twelve to twenty nineteen. The words are now on the right of the logo. Here is the icon, a variant and a bumper. Twenty nineteen to the present, the font has changed. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Little Airplane Productions. 2003 to 2021. There is a red circle, and inside it there is a red airplane and surrounding the airplane, there are the words Little Airplane and Productions all in black text. Here is a bumper. This has been a Little Airplane Production. 2021 to the present, there is a red and white banner, and inside it there are the words Little and Airplane in red text and connected to the banner there is a red plane, and under it there are the words A Studio 100 and Company in red text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Jidal. 1987 to the present, there is a scary face, and under it there is the word D in yellow text. Here is a old bumper. and a new bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Video Brinquito. 1994 to 1999, here we have the logo of the first Video Brinquito's name, VVF Producos. Unfortunately, I didn't found the logo. 1999 to 2006, here we have the logo of the second Video Brinquito's name, Spot Films. There is the word spot in silver text, but the letter O was replaced to a blue ball, and under it there is a gray rectangle, and inside it, there is the word films in gray text. Here is a bumper. In 2006 to 2012, they changed its name to Video Brinquito. There are the word Video and Brinquito in blue, white, green, red, yellow and dark red text on a black outline. Here is a bumper. All right, now I'm gonna talk about VIS. 2015 to 2018, here we have the logo of the first VIS name, Viacom International Studios. There is the word Viacom in blue text and on the right of it, there are the words International and Studios in gray and blue text. 2018 to 2020, there are the words Viacom International and Studios in black text, and on the right of them, there are two blue shapes representing a letter V. Here is the stacked version and an intro. 2020 to 2020, here we have the logo of the second BIS name, Viacom's International Studios. The word Viacom has been removed. Here is the stacked version and an intro. 2020 to 2020, there is the word Viacom CBS in blue and dark blue text, and under it, there is a rectangle with various shades of blue, and on the last shade, there are the words International and Studios in white text. 2020 to the present, they changed its name to this. There is the word this in black text and under it, there are the words a division of and Viacom CBS in blue text. Here is the kids version and an intro. 2020. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Warner Bros. Animation. 
2003 to 2014, there is a blue shield on a golden outline, and inside it there are the letters W and B in golden text, and on the shield, there is a golden line, and inside it, there are the words Warner Bros and animation, all in golden text. Here is an intro. In 2011 to the present, there is a red shield, and inside it there are the letter W and B in white text, and between them there is a white dot, and under the shield, there is the word animation in grey text. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Warner Bros. Pictures. 1923 to 1925, there are the words Warner and Bros. in black text, and under them there are the words classics of the and screen, also in black text. 1925 to 1929, there is a black shield, and inside it there is a place and under it, there are the letters W and B in black, and between them, there is a black dot. Here is an intro. In 1929 to 1937, there is a black shield, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in black text, and above the shield, there are the words Warner Bros in pictures all in black text. 1929 to 1931, there is a like a flag, and inside it on the left, there are the words Warner Bros, and and all in black text, in the middle, there is the word Vitaphone in black text, and on the right, there are the words talking and pictures, also all in black text. Here is an intro. In 1931-1937, the word and on the left of the logo has been removed, the word talking on the right of the logo has been removed as well, and the word Vitaphone is now in red text. Here is an intro. In 1935 to 1937, there is a black shield, and inside it, there are the letter W and B in black text. 1937 to 1967, the shield is larger, and now on it there is a white banner, and inside it, there are the words Warner Bros in pictures all in black text. 1948 to 1967, the shield is thicker, inside the shield in the background there are now a lot of black lines, and the banner and the text inside it have been removed. 1953 to 1967, 1970 to 1972 and 1985 to 2019, there is a black and white shield, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in white text. Here is a bumper. From 1967 to 1970, they changed its name to Warner Bros. 7 Arts. There is a black shield, and inside it there is a letter W in black text, and coming out from it, there is a black number 7. 1970 to 1972, they changed its name to Warner Bros. There is a red long shield on a golden outline, and inside it there are the letter W and B in golden text, and also on the shield there is a red line, and inside it, there are the words Warner and Bros in golden text. Here is an intro. From 1972 to 1990, there is a black shape, and inside it, there are three white rounded shapes. Here is an intro. From 1993 to 2019, there is a black shield, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in black text, and also on it there is a black banner, and inside it, there are the words Warner Bros in pictures, all in white text. Here is a bumper. From 2019 to the present, there is a blue shield, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in white text, and under the shield, there are the words Warner and Bros in blue text, and under them, there is the word pictures in blue text as well. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about 20th television. 
1958-1963. Here we have the logo of the first 20th television's name, 20th Century Fox TV. There is a red square, and inside it there is the number 20th in white text, and under it, there are the words Century and Fox in white text, and under them there is the word TV in white text. Here is a bumper. 1963 to 1972. Here we have the logo of the second 20th television's name, 20th Century Fox Television. There is a black square, and inside it there is a rounded rectangle, and inside it, there is the 20th Century Fox logo, and under the rounded rectangle, there is the word television in black text. Here is a bumper. 1972 to 1982. Here we have the logo of the third 20th television's name, 20th Century Fox Television. There is the 20th Century Fox logo, and under it, there are the words 20th Century Fox and Television, all in black text. 1982 to 1987. They changed their name back again to 20th Century Fox Television. There is a black shape, and inside it there a white 20th Century Fox logo, and under this shape, there is the word Television in black text. Here is the inverted version. 1987 to 1992, the 20th Century Fox logo is bigger, and the font of the word television has changed. 1992 to 1995, they changed their name to 20th Television. The words Fox and Television were removed, and the word Century was replaced to the word Television. Here is an intro. 1995 to 2020, they changed their name back again to 20th Century Fox Television. There is the 20th Century Fox logo, but now on the bottom of the logo, there is the word television in white text. Here is the colored version and a bumper. 2020 to the present, they finally changed their name to 20th Television. There are two black searchlights, and between them there is the word 20th in black text, and under it there are two black lines, and between them there is the word television in black text. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about O Entertainment. 1990 to 2007, there is a letter O in purple text, and under it, there is the word entertainment in blue text. Here is a bumper. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Omation. 2007 to the present, there is a letter O in yellow text, and coming out from it, there are two yellow legs and two yellow arms, and on the right of it, there is the word Mation in blue text. Here is the 3D version, a variant and a bumper. Oh. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Film Roman. 1984 to 1989, there is the word in yellow text, and under it there is the word Roman in white text on a yellow outline, and inside the letter O in it, there is the word Film in red text, and under the word Roman, there is the production in yellow text. Here is a bumper. 1989 to 1999, there is a purple rectangle, and inside it there is the word film in white text, and under it there is a big purple square, and inside it, there are five yellow rounded shapes, and under the square there is a purple rectangle, and inside it, there is the word Roman in white text. Here is the print version and a bumper. 1999 to 2006, there is a blue square, and inside it, there is the word film in white text, and under it there is a white rectangle, and inside it, there are five blue rounded shapes, and under the white rectangle, there is the word Roman in white text. Here is the inverted version, a variant and a bumper. 2006 to the present, the word film is now on the bottom of the text. Here is a bumper. I'm gonna talk about MTM Enterprises. 1970 to 1997, there is a white shape, and inside it there are three stars, and the word MTM in white text, and under the shape there is the word MTM in black text. Also, coming out from the shape there is a white cat. Here is a variant and an intro. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Airy Vision Films. 1987 to 1987, there are the words Airy Vision and Film Mall in black text. Also, on the top left of the logo there is the word in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna to talk about aka Cartoon. 1994 to 2009, there is a creepy black face on a black pencil on a red circle and under it there are the words aka and Cartoon in black text. 
Here is the print version, a variant and a bumper. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Planeta Junior. 2003 to the present, there are the words Planeta and Junior in pink, green, red, dark, blue and orange text and between the words there are two blue circles. Here is a bumper. Two thousand fifteen to the present, there is a blue, black, green, red and white rounded shape and on the top right of it there is a red and black circle and on the right of the logo there are the words Planeta and Junior in black text. Here is a bumper. I'm gonna talk about Sneowish. 1996 to 2004 and 2016 to 2019, there is a bird made out of colorful shapes and under it there are the words Sneowish and incorporated all in brown text. Here is a bumper. 2016 to 2019, the bird is darker, and the font of the text has changed. Here is a bumper. I'm gonna talk about Wild Brain. 2006 to 2010, here we have the logo of the first Wild Brain's name, DHX Media. There is the word DHX in orange text and on the right of it, there is the word media in gray text. Here is the print version. 2010 to 2019, there is the word DHX in white text on a blue outline, and on the top right of it, there is the word media in black text. Here is the print version and an intro. 2019 to the present, they changed its name to Wild Brain. There are three blue shapes connected to the each other, and with an eye on the top of them, and on the right of them, there is the word Wild Brain in gray text. Here is the stacked version and an intro. Wild Brain! Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Fresh TV. 2004 to 2009, here is the word fresh in green text, and on the top right of it, there is a green line, and under it, there is the word TV in green text. Here is a bumper. 2009 to 2016, they changed its name to Fresh. The word TV has been removed. 2016 to the present, they changed its name back again to Fresh TV. There is a rounded blue triangle, and inside it there is the word Fresh TV in white text. Here is a bumper. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about DreamWorks Animation. 1998 to 2004, there is the word DreamWorks in black text, and under it there is a black line, and under it, there is the word animation in black text. Here is a Two thousand four to two thousand six, there is a boy sitting on a moon while holding a fishing rod, and under it there is the word DreamWork in black text, and under it there is a black line, and under it there are the words animation and SKG, also in black text. Here is the colored version and an intro. Two Two thousand seven to twenty eighteen, the boy, the moon, the line, and the text are now in blue, and now the words animation and SKG are smaller and in the middle of the line. Here is the print version, horizontal version, and an intro.
2016 to the present, there is a dark blue circle, and on it there is a white moon, and on it there is a white boy sitting while holding a white fishing rod, and under it, there is the word DreamWorks in dark blue text. Here is the horizontal version and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Hit Entertainment. 1983 to 1989, here we have the logo of the first Hit Entertainment's name, Henson International Television. There is the word Hit in black text and a black exclamation point, and under them there are the words Henson International and Television all in black text, and between them there are two black lines. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety six here we have the logo of the second hit entertainment's name hit communications plc there is the word hit in silver text and on the right of it there are the words communications and plc in blue text here is an intro nineteen ninety four to nineteen ninety five here we have the logo of the third Hit Entertainment's name, Hit Entertainment PLC. There is the word Hit in silver text. Here is an intro. 1994 to 1996, there is the word Hit in gray text, and on the right of it, there are the words Entertainment and PLC in blue text. 1996 to 2001, the word Hit is now 3D, and in blue text, the words Entertainment and PLC are now in black text, and the dot in the letter I in the word Hit was replaced to a world. Here is a variant and an intro. 2000 to 2008, the logo is now in 2D, and the words Entertainment and PLC are now in a different font. Here is a variant and an intro. 2001 to 2006, here we have the logo of the fourth Hit Entertainment's name, Hit Entertainment, but with the I in the word Hit being in capital letter. The word PLC has been removed from the logo. Here is the 2D version, a variant and an intro. 2006 to 2016, they finally changed its name to Hit Entertainment, with the letter I in the word Hit being in lowercase text. There is a red cube and on the top of it there is a letter H in white text and on the right of the cube on a blue background, there is a letter T in white text, and on the left of the cube on a yellow background, there is a letter I in blue text and under the cube, there are the words Hit and Entertainment in red text. Here is the print version, the 2D version, the icon, the wordmark and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Universal Pictures. 1912 to 1914, here we have the logo of the first Universal Pictures name, Universal Film Manufacturing Company. There is a Saturn and on it there are the words Universal and Pictures in black text. Here is an intro. 1914 to 1919, there is a black rounded shape, and inside it there is the word moving in black text, and under it, there is the word universal in black text, and under it, there is the word pictures in black text. 1919 to 1923, there is a Saturn and on the planet there are the words universal and films in white text and on the ring, there are the words the transatlantic and film in black text. Here is an intro. 1923 to 1929, they changed its name to Universal Pictures. There is Earth and surrounding it, there are the words Universal and Pictures in white text on a black outline. Here is an intro. 1929 to 1936, there is a white circle, and on it there are the words universal and pictures in black text, and also in the middle of the circle there is an earth. 
1936 to 1946, there is an earth and on it there is a black banner, and on it, there are the words universal in pictures in white text. 1946 to 1963, they changed its name to Universal International Pictures. There is an earth and on it there are the words universal and international in white text on a black outline. Here is an intro. nineteen sixty three to nineteen ninety they changed its name back again to universal pictures there is a giant letter u in black text and in the middle of it there is a black globe nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety seven there is an earth and on it there is the word universal in black text and under the earth there are the words and ka and company in black text here is an intro nineteen ninety seven to twenty twelve there is a black earth and on it there is the word universal in black text here is the colored version twenty twelve to the present the font of the word universal has changed here is the colored version i'm gonna talk about radical sheep productions it is a canadian children's television series production company nineteen ninety two to two thousand two there are the words radical and sheep in white text and under them there are the words radical sheep and productions all in red text here is a bumper moon 2000 to 2012 there is a gray sheep and on it there are two orange wings and under them sheep there is the word radical and under it there are two white lines and between them there is the word sheep in white text also everything is on a blue background here is a bumper 2012 to the present the logo is not on a blue background anymore here is a bumper 2017 to the present, there is a purple and green sheep, and on the right of it, there are the words radical and sheep in purple text. Here is a bumper. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. It is the home video distribution division of Sony Pictures Entertainment. 1975 to 1977, here we have the logo of the first Sony Pictures Home Entertainment's name, Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment. Here we have a prototype logo. There is a black and white shape and on it there the white lady holding the torch. 1979 to 1980, there are some blue lines, and on them there are the words Columbia Pictures Home and Entertainment in white text, and in the middle of the words Pictures and Home, there is a blue rounded shape, and on it, there is a white shape that looks like a sun. 1980 to 1982, there are the words Columbia Pictures Home and Entertainment in black text, and between the words Pictures and Home, there is a blue rounded shape, and on it there is a white sun, and on it there is the lady holding the torch, and under her there is a black line, and under it, there are the words a division of Columbia Pictures Industries and Inc., all in black text. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty two to nineteen ninety one here we have the logo of the second sony pictures home entertainment's name rica columbia pictures home video there is a white rectangle on a black outline and inside it there is a rounded rectangle and inside it there is the word rica in red text and under the rectangle there is another black rectangle and inside it there is a blue shape and inside it there is a white sun and on it there is the lady holding the torch and under her there are the words columbia and pictures in white text and under them there are the words home and video in black text here is an intro 1982 to 1991 internationally the word home has been replaced with the word international and the font of the word video has changed 1987 to 1991 in use of in canada the white rectangle is now silver here is an intro 
1988 to 1992 internationally, the shapes are now shining, and the word home has been replaced with the word international. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty three to nineteen eighty nine only in Australia. Here we have the logo of the third Sony Pictures Home Entertainment's name, Rica Columbia Pictures, Hoyt's Video Pty Limited. Now under the Columbia Pictures logo, there is a black rounded rectangle, and inside it, there is the word Hoyt's in red text, and under it, there are the words Video Pty and Limited in black text. Here is an intro. 1988 to 1992 only in Australia, the shape are now shining. Here is an intro. 1984 to 1992. Here we have the logo of the fourth Sony Pictures Home Entertainment's name, TriStar Video. There is a gray shape and on it there is a white horse, and under it there is a black triangle, and inside it, there is the word TriStar in black text, and under it, there is the word Video in black text. 1991 to 1992. Here we have the logo of the fifth Sony Pictures Home Entertainment's name, Columbia TriStar Home Video. There are the words Columbia and TriStar in black text, and under them there is a black rectangle divided by a black line, and inside the rectangle on the left, there is the Columbia Pictures logo, and on the right there is the TriStar logo, and under the rectangle, there are the words Home and Video in black text. Here is an intro. 1992 to 2001, the text on the top is now horizontal, the rectangle has been divided, and there are now two squares, and now behind the logos inside the square, there is a black shape. Here is the inverted version, the colored version and an intro. 2001 to 2004 in USA and Canada and 2001 to 2005 internationally. Here we have the logo of the sixth Sony Pictures Home Entertainment's name, Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment. The word video has been replaced with the word entertainment. Here is the inverted version, the colored version and an intro. 2004 to the present in USA and Canada and 2005 to the present internationally, they finally changed its name to Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. There are some black shapes and behind them there is a gradient and under the black shapes, there are the words Sony and Pictures in black text, and under them there is a black line, and under it, there are the words Home Entertainment in black text. Here is the print version and an intro. 2nd okay, now I'm going to talk about Warner Bros. Television Studios. It is an American television production arm of Warner Bros. Entertainment, itself part of Warner Media. 1955 to 1967, here we have the logo of the first Warner Bros. Television's name, Warner Bros. Television Division. There is a black and white shield, and inside it there are some white lines, and on them there are the letters W and B in white text on a black outline. 1967 to 1970, here we have the logo of the second Warner Bros. Television's name, Warner Bros. Seven Arts. There is a black shield, and inside it there is a letter W in black text, and a black number 7 connected to each other. Here is an intro. 1970 to 1972. Here we have the logo of the third Warner Bros. Television Studios name, Warner Bros. Television. 
there is a red and golden shield, and on it there are the letters W and B in golden text, and under it there is a red rectangle, and inside it, there are the words Warner and Bros in yellow text. Here is an intro. Nineteen seventy two to nineteen seventy two and nineteen eighty five to two thousand five, there is a black shield, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in black text. Nineteen seventy two to nineteen eighty five, there are the words Warner Bros and Television in black text, and under them there is a black shape, and inside it, there are three white shapes, and under the black shape, there are the words of Warner Communications and Company all in black text. Here is an intro. 1985 to 2019, there is a black shield, and on it there are the letters W and B in white text. Here is the inverted version and an intro. 1993 to 2019, there is a black shield, and inside it there are the letters W and B in black text, and on the shield, there is a black banner on a white outline, and inside it, there are the words Warner Bros in pictures in white text. Here is the colored version and an intro. 2019 to 2020, there is a blue shield, and on it there are the letters W and B in white text, and under the shield, there are the words Warner Bros and Television in blue text. 2020 to the present, they finally changed their name to Warner Bros Television Studios. Now on the right of the word television there is the word studios in dark blue text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Hanna-Barbera. It is an American animation studio founded in 1957 by Tom and Jerry creators and former Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer animation directors William Hanna and Joseph Barbera, in partnership with film director George Sidney. 1957 to 1958, there are two squares one dark red and one blue, and inside them, there are the letters H and B in white text. 1958 to 1961, the font has changed, and the rectangles are now pink and orange. 1959 to 1961, there are the words Hannah and Barbera in yellow text on a black outline. 1961 to 1961, the font has changed, and the text is now in white text. 1961 to 1966, the font has changed, and the text is now in black text. 1966 to 1971, there is a film roll and on the right of it, there are the words Hanna Barbera and Productions in black text, and under them, there are the words A Taft Broadcasting and Company in black text. 1967 to 1974 and 2002 to 2009, there are the letters H and B in black text. 1973 to 1982, there are the words Hanna and Barbera in black text. 1974 to 1979, there are the letters H and B in black text. 1977 to 1988, there are the words Hannah and Barbera in white text on a black outline. Here is the stacked version and the inverted version. 1979 to 2002, there is a colorful shape, and on it there is a white star. Here is the print version and the wordmark. 1988 to 2002, there are the words Hannah and Barbera in white text on a black outline. Here is the stacked version and the inverted version. 2002 to the present, the font has changed, and the outline is bigger. Here is the inverted version. I'm gonna talk about Fox Star Studios. It is a motion picture production and distribution company from India. 2010 to the present, there is the word Fox in white text, and under it there are two white lines, and under them there is the word star in white text, and on the right of it, there is a white star. And under it there is a white line, and under it there is the word studios in white text, and under it, there is a white line, and on the sides of it, there are two white search lines. Here is the inverted version. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Universal Television. It is an American television production subsidiary of NBC Universal Content Studios. 1963 to 1973, there is a black shape representing a letter U in black text, and in the middle of it, there is a black globe. Here is a variant and an intro. 1973 to 1997, the shape and the globe are now blue. Here is an intro. 1997 to 2004, there is the 1997 to 2012 Universal Pictures logo. Here is an intro. 1999 to 2000 something, they changed its name to Universal Pictures Visual Programming. 
Now under the Universal Pictures logo there are the words Universal Pictures Visual and Programming all in black text. 2007 to 2011, they changed its name to Universal Media Studios. There is a black shape and under it there are the words Universal Media and Studios in black text. Here is an intro. 2011 to the present, they finally changed its name to Universal Television. There is a black rounded shape, and under it there are the words Universal and Television in black text. Here is the stacked version and an intro. I'm gonna talk about Screen Gems Pictures. It is an American film production and distribution studio that is a division of Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group, a subsidiary of Japanese multinational conglomerate, Sony. 1999 to the present, there are two red shapes, and between them there is a red circle representing a letter S, and under these shapes, there are the words screen and gems in red text. Here is the print version, the icon and the print version of the icon. 2000 to 2014, now under the words screen and gems there are the words a Sony Pictures Entertainment and Company in red text. Here is the print version and an intro. In 2014 to the present, the words on the bottom were replaced to the words a Sony and company in red text. Here is the print version and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about It's a Laugh Productions. It is an American production company owned by the Walt Disney Company, which produces live-action teen sitcoms airing on Disney Channel and Disney XD. 2006 to 2010, there is a dark blue rectangle, and inside it there are the words it's in, in white text, and under them there are five circles, one orange, one pink, one purple, one blue, and one green, and on them, there is the word laugh in white on a black outline, and under it there is a red rectangle, and inside it, there is the word productions in white text on a black outline. Here is an intro. 2009 to 2019, the logo is brighter. Here is an intro. 2019 to the present, there is the word it's in blue text, and on the right of it, there is a letter in red text on a black shape, and on the right of it, there is the word laugh in blue text, and under it, there is the word productions in black text. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about TriStar. It is an American film studio that is a division of the Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group. 1984 to 1991, here we have the logo of the first TriStar Pictures name, TriStar Pictures, but between the Tri and Star, there is a hyphen. There is a black horse with wings on it, and under it there is a black triangle, and inside it, there is the word TriStar in black text, and under the triangle, there is the word Pictures in black text. Here is an intro. From 1991 to 1993, they changed its name to TriStar Pictures. There is the word Tri in black text and on the right of it, there is a horse with wings on it, and under it there is a black triangle, and under it there is the word Star in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. From 1993 to 1993, there is a black square, and inside it there is a black cloudy shape, and on it there is a black horse with wings on it, and under the square, there are the words TriStar and Pictures in black text, and under them, there are the words of Sony Pictures Entertainment and Company in black text. Here is an intro. From 1993 to 2016, the text on the bottom has been removed, and now on the left of the square, there is the word TriStar in black text. Here is an intro.
2014 to 2016, now on the bottom of the logo, there are the words of Sony and company in black text. Here is an intro. In 2016 to the present, the words a Sony company have been removed, and now under the word TriStar, there is the word pictures in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. I'm gonna talk about Europacorp. It is a French motion picture company headquartered in Saint Denis, a northern suburb of Paris, and one of a few full-service independent studios that both produces and distributes feature films. 2000 to the present, there is a person with wings on it, and under it, there is the word Europa Corporation in black text, and under it, there is a black line. Here is the inverted version, the version without the line, the icon and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Creative Power Entertaining. It is a Chinese animation company which is its headquarters in the Wuzi block in Yuxiu district, Guangzhou. 2004 to the present, there is a red shape, and inside it, there are the words Creative Power and Entertaining in red-blue-yellow text, and under them, there is a yellow and blue shape that looks like a letter C, and on it, there is the word P in yellow text, and coming out of it, there is a yellow line, and on the right of it, there are some words in Chinese in yellow text, and on the bottom left of it, there are the words Creative Power and Entertaining in yellow text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Sony Pictures Television Studios. It is an American television production and distribution studio founded in 2002 as the successor to Columbia TriStar Television, TriStar Television, Columbia Pictures Television, Screen Gems and Pioneer Telefilms. 2002 to the present, here we have the logo of the first Sony Pictures Television Studios name, Sony Pictures Television. There are some black shapes with a gradient behind them, and under the shapes there are the words Sony and pictures in black text, and under them there is a black line, and under it, there is the word television in black text. Here is the print version, the inverted print version and an intro. In 2020 to the present, they changed its name to Sony Pictures Television Studios. There are the words Sony Pictures and Television in white text, and under them between two white lines, there is the word Studios in white text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Cartoon Pizza. It is an American animation company located in Nashville. 1991 to 2000, here we have the logo of the first Cartoon Pizza's name, Jumbo Pictures. There is an egg and on it there is the word jumbo in red text, and under it there is a black line, and inside it, there is the word pictures in white text, and under the line, there is the word ink in black text, and under the egg, there are the words grade and quality in white text. Here is an intro. 2001 to 2015 and 2016 to the present, they changed its name to Cartoon Pizza. There is a drawing of a pizza and under it there is an earth and on it, there are the words cartoon and pizza in white text on a black outline, and under the earth, there are the words worldwide and delivery in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. I'm gonna talk about Gracie Films. It is an American independent film and television production company created by James L. Brooks in 1987. 1987 to the present, there is a blue shape, and inside it there are the words Gracie and films in white text, and in front of the shapes, there are some people. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Paramount Pictures. It is an American film studio and subsidiary of Viacom's. 1912 to 1914, there is a gray crown, and on it there is the word Paramount in black text, and under it, there is the word Pictures in black text, and under the crown there is a white banner, and inside it, there are the words In and Excelsis in black text. 1914 to 1917, there is a black and white circle and surrounding it, there are a bunch of black stars, and on the circle, there is the word paramount in white text, and under it, there is a white shape that looks like a mountain, and on it, there is the word pictures in black text, and under it, there are some white shapes representing clouds. Here is an intro. 
1917 to 1967, the font has changed and the logo is brighter. Here is an intro. Nineteen sixty seven to the present, there is a black circle, and serrating it there are twenty two black stars, and on the circle there is the paramount and white text, and under it there is a white shape representing a mountain. Here is the blue version, the gray version, a variant and an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Orion Pictures. It is an American motion picture producer owned by Metro Goldwyn Mayer. 1979 to 1999 and 2013 to the present, there is the word Orion in black text. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty one to nineteen ninety six now under the word orion there are the words pictures incorporation in black text here is an intro Nineteen ninety six to nineteen ninety nine and twenty thirteen to the present, now the word corporation has been removed. Here is an intro. Twenty thirteen to the present, the font of the word pictures has changed. Here is an intro. Twenty eighteen to the present, the word pictures is smaller, and now under it, there are the words in MGM and company in black text. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about MGM. Metro Goldwyn Mayer or just MGM is an American media company involved primarily in the production and distribution of feature films and television programs. 1924 to 1964, there are the words Metro Goldwyn Mayer in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. Nineteen twenty four to nineteen eighty four, there is a white shape, and on it there are some words in black text, and under it there is a white lion, and under there is a white shape, and under it there is a white banner, and inside it there are the words Metro Goldwyn and Mayer in black text, and under the banner there is a white shape, and inside it there is the word picture in black text. Here is a variant. 1964 to 1966, there is a black shape, and inside it there is a black lion. 1966 to 1982, there is a black circle, and inside it there is a white lion, and under the circle, there is the word MGM in black text. Here is the horizontal version and the icon. 1982 to 1986, they changed its name to MGMUA Entertainment Company. There is a white shape on a black outline, and inside it there is a white lion, and above it, there are the words Ars Gratia and Arts in black text, and under the shape, there are the words MGM and Ua in black text, and under it, there are the words Entertainment and Co in black text and above them, and under them, there are two black lines. Here is the gray version, the colored version and an intro. 1984 to 1985, the text on the bottom has been removed, and now serrating the lion, there are the words Metro Goldwyn Mayer United and Artists in black text, and under these words, there are the words Entertainment and Co in black text. 
Here is the colored version. 1986 to 1987, they changed its name to MGM Entertainment Co. Now surrounding the lion there are the words Ars Gratia and Artis in gray text, and under the shape there is the word MGM in black text, and under it, there are the words Entertainment and Co. in black text, and above and under it, there are two black lines. Here is the colored version. 1986 to 1992, they changed its name back again to Metro Goldwyn Mayer. The text on the bottom has been removed, now above the shape there are the words Metro Goldwyn and Mayer in black text, and on the sides of the shapes, there are the words Trade and Mark in black text. Here is the colored version. 1992 to the present, the text is bigger. Here is the colored version and an intro. To 2011 to 2021, now under the shape there is the word MGM in black text. Here is the horizontal version, the colored version and an intro. <laughs> 2021 to the present, the word MGM has been removed, and now everything is golden except the words Ars Gratia and Artis that are in black text. Here is the short version and an intro. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Vestron video. It is the main subsidiary of Vestron Incorporated, a home video company based in Stamford, Connecticut. 1982 to 1982, there are the words Vestron and video in white text, and under them there is a letter V in silver text. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty two to nineteen eighty six the letter v is now made out of red and white lines here is the print version the golden version and an intro nineteen eighty six to nineteen ninety two there is a black shape and under it there are the words vestron and video in black text here is a variant and an intro. 2016 to the present, there are the words Vestron and video in white text on a black outline, and under them there is letter V made out of black lines. Here is an intro. 2016 to the present, there are the words Vestron and video in white text on a black outline, and under them there is letter V made out of black lines. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the Jim Henson Company. It is an American entertainment company located in Los Angeles, California. 1975 to 1987, here we have the logo of the first the Jim Henson Company's name, Henson Associates. There is the word ha in green text and on the right of it, there is an exclamation point in green text, and on the right of it, there are the words Henson and Associates in red text. 1984 to 1986, the words Henson and Associates are now under the word ha, and also now on the right of the word Associates, there is the word ink in red text. Here is an intro. 1986 to 1987, there is the word Henson in green text, and under it there are the words Associates and Inc. in green text. Here is an intro. 1987 to 1988, here we have the logo of the second the Jim Henson Company's name, Jim Henson Productions. There is a green character and under him there are the words Jim and Henson in green and black text, and under it, there is the word Productions in red text. Here is an intro. 1988 to 2001, there are the words Jim and Henson in green text, and under them there is a red line, and under it, there is the word Productions in red text. Here is an intro. 
2001 to the present, they changed its name to the Jim Henson Company. There are the words Jim and Henson in red text, and under them there is a gray line, and under it, there are the words the Jim Henson and Company in gray text. Here is a variant. 2001 to 2001, there are the words the Jim and Henson in green text, and under them there is the word company in green text. 2002 to 2002, there are the words Jim and Henson in green text, and under them there is a white line, and under it, there are the words the Jim Henson and company in white text. 2005 to the present, here we have the movie version. Now everything is golden. Here is a variant and an intro. Two thousand eight to the present. Here we have the TV version. The words Jim and Henson are now in blue text. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about ITV Studios. It is a television production company owned by the British television broadcaster ITV PLC. Two thousand six to two thousand nine. Here we have the logo of the first ITV Studios name, ITV Productions. There is a blue rounded rectangle, and inside it there is the word ITV in white text, and on the right of the rectangle, there is the word Productions in black text. Here is an intro. 2009-2013, they changed its name to ITV Studios. There is a blue and pink gradient shape, and on the right of it there is a black rounded rectangle, and inside it, there is the word ITV in white text, and on the right of the rectangle, there is the word Studios in black text. Here is the print version and an intro. 2013 to 2020, there is the word ITV in green black dark green pink and yellow text, and under it, there is the word studios in black text. Here is an intro. 2020 to the present, now the text is in gray text. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about New Line Cinema. It is an American film production studio and a label of the Warner Bros. Pictures Group division of Warner Bros. 1973 to 1987, there are three black lines representing the letters N and L. Here is the wordmark, the inverted version and an intro. 1987 to 2001, there are two black film stripes, and under them there are the words New Line and Cinema in black text. Here is the horizontal version and an intro. 1997 to 2001, now on the bottom there are the words of Time Warner and Company in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. 2001 to 2001, now between the words and in time there is the word Al in black text. Here is the horizontal version and an intro. 2001 to the present, the words on the bottom have been removed. Here is the horizontal version. 2001 to 2003, now under the words New Line and Cinema there is a black line, and under it, there are the words in Al Time Warner and Company in black text. Here is the horizontal version and an intro. 2003 to 2018, the line and the word owl have been removed. Here is the horizontal version, the stacked version, the blue version and an intro. 
2018 to 2019, the word Time Warner was replaced to the word Warner Media. Here is the blue version and an intro. From 2019 to the present, the font of the word Warner Media has changed. Here is the blue version. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Billionfold Incorporated. It is a television production company founded by cartoonist Butch Hartman. 2004 to the present, there is a green shape, and on it there is a character wearing a cape and on his shirt, there is a yellow circle with a red letter B on it, and on his cape, there is the word Billionfold in yellow text on a black outline, and under it, there is the word ink in yellow text. Here is an intro. 2017 to 2018, the character is more detailed. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about N-Circle Entertainment. It is an entertainment content distributor based in Dallas, Texas, that specializes in the sales, marketing, and distribution of children and family programming content. 2006 to 2012, there is the word and circle in orange and blue text, and surreting it there is a yellow ring, and on the bottom right of the word and circle, there is the word entertainment in blue text. Here is an intro. 2012 to the present, there is a yellow circle, and on it there is the word and circle in orange and blue text, and on the bottom right of it, there is the word entertainment in blue text. Here is an intro. 2012. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Frederator Studios is an American animation television production studio which is a division of Frederator Networks Incorporated. 1983 to 1992. Here we have the logo of the first Frederator Studios named Fred Allen. There are the words Fred and Allen in black, and between them there is a black slash, and under it, there are the numbers 1983 and 1992 in black text, and between them there is a black hyphen. 1988 to 1997, here we have the logo of the second Frederator Studios name, Chauncey Street Productions Incorporated. There is a white rectangle representing a frame, and inside it there is a yellow or orange gradient background, and on it there is a white circle, and on it, there are the words Chauncey Street Productions and Incorporated in black text, and under the circle, there are some black shapes representing some buildings. Here is an intro. 1998 to 2009, here we have the logo of the third Frederator Studios name, Frederator Incorporated. There is the word Frederator in black text, and under it there are some black diamond shapes, and in the middle of them there is the word incorporated in black text. Here is an intro. 2009 to the present, they changed its name to Frederator Studios. The word incorporated has been replaced to the word studios in black text. Here is the stacked version, the horizontal version and an intro. 2010 to the present, there is a red robotic character. I'm gonna talk about Nick Jr. Productions. There is no info for this logo. 1993 to 2009, there are two characters, one orange and one blue, and on them, there are the words Nick and JR in white text. Here is an intro. 2010. I'm gonna talk about 20th Century Fox Television Distribution. There's no info for this logo. 2011 to 2011, there is the word 20th in yellow text, and under it there is a yellow line, and under it there it there is the century in yellow text, and under it there is a yellow line, and under it, there is the word Fox in yellow text, and surreting it there are some searchlights, and under the word Fox, there are the words television and distribution in yellow text. Here is an intro. 2013 to 2013, now under the word Fox there is a yellow line, and under it, there are the words television and distribution in yellow text, and in the front of them, there are the words a news corporation and company in yellow text. Here is the print version and an intro. 2013 to 2020, the words a news corporation and company have been removed. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about Pikesur Animation Studios. 
It is an American computer animation studio based in Emeryville, California, a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Studios owned by the Walt Disney Company. 1986 to 1994, here we have the logo of the first Pikesur animation studio's name, Pikesur. There is a gray square with a black and white circle on it, and under the square there is the word Pikesur in black text, and between every letter there is a black dot. Here is the wordmark, a variant, the icon, the print version and an intro. From 1994 to the present, there is the word Pikesur in black text, and under it, there are the words animation and studios in black text. Here is the word mark and an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Fox International Productions. It was the division of 20th Century Fox in charge of local production in 12 territories in China, Europe, India and Latin America, from 2008 to 2017. 2008 to 2010, there is the word Fox in yellow text, and under it there is a yellow line, and under it, there is the word International in yellow text, and under it, there is a yellow line, and under it, there is the word Productions in yellow text, and under everything, there are the words A News Corporation and Company in yellow text. 2010 to 2013, the logo is darker. Here is an intro. Twenty thirteen to twenty seventeen, the logo is brighter and the words on the bottom have been removed. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Vin Di Bona Productions. It is an American television production company that started in 1987 by the great television producer, Vincent Vin John Di Bona. 1987 to 1990, there are the words Vin Di and Bona in black text, and under it, there is a black diamond shape, and on it there is a black rounded shape, and inside it, there is the word productions in black text. Here is an intro. 1990 to 1997, the diamond shape has been removed. Here is an intro. 1998 to 2008, the black shape has been removed, and the word productions is now bigger and on the right of the logo. Here is an intro. 2008 to the present, the font has changed. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Gaumont. It is a French major film studio founded by the engineer turned inventor Leon Gaumont, and it is the first and oldest film company in the world. 1903 to 1906, here we have the logo of the first Gaumont's name, P.L. Elge. There is a black and white daisy, and in it there are some shapes and on them there are the letters P and L in black text, and between them, there is the word Elge in white text on a black outline. 1906 to 1908, the shapes and the letters P and L have been removed. 1908 to 1910, here we have the logo of the second Guamont's name, Gaumont Film Cinema. There is a black and yellow daisy, and inside it there are the words films and cinema in brown text, and between them there is the word Gaumont in black text. Here is an intro. 1910 to 1915, the part that was yellow is now white, and the words films and cinema have been removed. Here is the red version and an intro. 1914 to 1918, the word Gaumont was replaced to a letter G in black text. 1918 to 1919, now the logo is inside a black circle. 1919 to 1924, here we have the logo of the third Gaumont's name, Pax. There is a black circle and inside it there is the word Pax in black text, and serting the circle there is a black shape. 1930 to 1940, they changed its name to Gaumont. There is a black bird and under it there are two circle one with the world on it, and the other one at a symbol and some lines on it, and on these circles there is a black line, and under these circles, there is a black and white daisy, with a letter G in black text inside it. Here is an intro. 
1940 to 1944, there is a black shape, and inside it, there is the letter G in black text. 1943 to 1970, there is a yellow shape, and inside it there is an earth, and on it there is a red banner, and inside it, there is the word Gaumont in yellow text. Here is an intro. nineteen forty four to nineteen forty five there is a black shape and on it there is a letter g in white text here is the red version in an intro nineteen forty five to nineteen forty seven the shape is now white here is an intro nineteen seventy to nineteen eighty there is a black and white daisy and inside it there is a letter g in black text and on the right of it there is the word omont in black text here is an intro nineteen eighty to nineteen eighty five there is a green and white daisy and under it there is the word gaumont in green text here is an intro nineteen eighty one to nineteen ninety five there is a black daisy and on it there is a letter g in black text and on the right of it there is the word omont in black text here is an intro nineteen ninety five to twenty eleven there is a red daisy and on it there is the word gaumont in red text here is an intro twenty eleven to the present, there is the word Gaumont in red text, and surrounding the letter G there are twelve red shapes representing a flower. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about CBS Fox Video. It was a home video entertainment company formed and established in June 1982 as a merger between 20th Century Fox Video and CBS Video Enterprises. 1982 to 2001, there are the words CBS and Fox in black text made out of some black lines, and under them there is the word video in black text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Warner Animation Group. It is an American feature animation studio that is the feature animation division of Warner Bros. Entertainment. 2014 to 2016, there is a red 3D shield on a silver outline, and inside it, there are the letters W and G in gray text, and on them there is a gray line, and on it, there are the words Warner Animation and Group in black text. Here is an intro. twenty sixteen to twenty twenty one the logo is brighter and the words on the line are now uppercase here is the print version the horizontal version and an intro twenty 
2021 to the present, there is a red shield, and inside it there is the word WAG in white text, and under the shield there are the words Warner Animation and Group in dark red text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Chorus Entertainment. It is a Canadian broadcasting and media conglomerate. 1999 to 2016, there is the word chorus in green, yellow, purple, red and blue text, and under it, there is the word entertainment in black text. Here is the print version, the 2D version, a variant and an intro. In 2016 to the present, there is the word chorus in black text, except the letter O is in green text, and also on the right of the text, there is a green dot. Here is the print version and an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Warner Bros. Classic Animation. It is an American animation studio owned by Warner Bros. 1930 to 1931, there is a white rectangle, and inside it, there are the words Looney Tunes in gray text on a black outline, and under them there are the words a Hugh Harmon Rudolph Ising musical and cartoon in black text. Here is an intro. From 1931 to 1933, there are the words Warner Bros. in pictures in white text, and under them there are the words the Vitaphone in white text, and under them, there is a white shield with the letters W and B in white text, and under it, there is a white flag with the words Warner Bros. Vitaphone Nan pictures in white text on it, and on the flag, there is the word present in white text. Here is an intro. Nineteen thirty three to nineteen thirty four, the logo is darker. Here is an intro. Nineteen thirty four to nineteen thirty six, the word pictures on the right of Warner Bros. has been removed, and now under them, there are the words Productions and Corporation in gray text. Here is an intro. 1936 to 1939, there is a blue shield with the letters W and B in white text on a black outline on it. Here is the red version and an intro. 1939 to 1940, the shield is now red. Here is an intro. 1940 to 1944, the font has changed. Here is an intro. 1944 to 1948, the letters are now on an orange outline. Here is an intro. 1947 to 1954, the shield is now brown. Here is an intro. 1953 to 1964, the shield is now red. Here is an intro. 1962 to 1967, there are three black shapes representing the letters W and B in black text. Here is an intro. 1967 to 1969, there is a black shape, and inside it, there is a letter W in black text, connected to a black number 7. Here is an intro. 1972 to 1988, there is a black rounded shape, and inside it, there are three white shapes. Here is an intro. 1979 to 1980, there are the words Warner Bros. and Inc. in white text on a red outline, and under them, there is a red shield on a white outline, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in white text. 
1987 to 1988, there are the words Warner Bros. cartoons and ink in white text, and under them there is a red shield on a white outline, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in white text, and under the shield, there is the word present in white text. 1994 to 1997, there are the words Warner Bros. Classic and Animation in white text, and under them there is a red shield, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in white text, and under the shield, there is the word presence in white text. Here is an intro. 2000 to 2000, the logo is brighter. 1995 to 2001, there is a blue shield on a golden outline, and on it there are the letters W and B in golden text, and on them there is a golden banner, and inside it, there are the words classic and animation in yellow text. Here is an intro. 2003 to 2004, there are the words Warner Bros. and pictures in green text, and under them there is a red shield on a golden outline, and inside it, there are the letters W and B in golden text, and under the shield, there is the word presence in green text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Lorimar Television. It was an American production company that was later a subsidiary of Warner Bros. 1971 to 1978, here we have the logo of the first Lorimar Television's name, Lorimar Productions. There are the letters L and P in dark blue text connect to each other. Here is an intro. 1978 to 1988, there is the word Lorimar in yellow text. Here is an intro. 1986 to 1988, here we have the logo of the second Lorimar Television's name, Lorimar Telepictures. The word Lorimar is now in black text, and on the right of it there is the word Telepictures in black text. Here is an intro. 1988 to 1993, they finally changed its name to Lorimar Television. There is the word Lorimar in black text, and under it there is a red rectangle, and inside it there is the word television in white text. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Castle Home Video. It was the video imprint of the English independent record label Castle Communications, which went defunct in 2007. 1987 to 1992, there is a black rectangle, and inside it there is the word castle in green text, and under this rectangle there is a background with clouds, and under this background there is a black rectangle, and inside it there is the word vision in green text. Here is an intro. 1989 to 1990, there is a green rectangle, and on it there are two blue lines, and on them there are three blue arrows, and under them there is a dark green rectangle, and inside it there is the word castle in green text, and under it there is a green rectangle, and inside it there is the word vision in dark green text. Here is an intro. 1990 to 1992, there are three arrows one red one yellow and one blue, and on them there are two black shapes, and on them there are the words castle and video in white text. 1990 to 1998, there is a black gradient rectangle, and on it there are three blue gradient arrows, and on them there is a blue ring, and under the rectangle there is a red line, and under it there are the words castle home and video in black text. Here is an intro. 1995 to 2007, there is a red yellow green and blue gradient shape, and on it there are the words castle home and video in white text. Here is an intro. 2. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Lionsgate Films. It is a Canadian-founded, American-domiciled entertainment company. 1962-1969, here we have the logo of the first Lionsgate Films name, Cinepix Film Properties. There is a blue shape, and inside it there is the word Cinepix in yellow text, and on the right of it there is the word ink in white text. 
1969 to 1972, there is a black and white shape representing a letter C, and on the right of it there are the words a cinefix and release in black text. Here is the icon. 1972 to 1977, the shape is now on a black rectangle. The rectangle is now on the right of the logo, and now on the left of the rectangle there are the words cinefix and ink in black text. 1973 to 1979, the shape is now on the left, it isn't on a black rectangle, and now on the right of the shape there are the words inapix and ink in black text. 1973 to 1978, the shape is now on a black rectangle, and the font of the word cinepix has changed. 1975 to 1988, the shape isn't on a black rectangle anymore, and the font of the word cinepix has changed. 1984 to 1989, the shape is now white, and on a black rectangle and now above and under it there are the words cinepix and ink in black text. 1989 to 1994, there is a black rectangle made out of white and black lines, and on it there is the white Canada leaf on a black outline, and on the right of the rectangle there is the word CFP in black text, and under it there is the word distribution in black text. 1994 to 1994, there is a black rectangle, and on it there is a half white Canada leaf, and on the right of it there is a black shape, and on the right of it there is the word CFP in black and white text. 1994 to 1996, there is the word CFP in black text, and under it there is the word distribution in black text. 1996 to 1996, there are the words Cinepix and ink in black text, and under it there is a black line, and under it there is the word distribution in black text. 1996 to 1998, there are the words CFP in black text. Here is an intro. nineteen ninety eight to two thousand four they changed its name to lionsgate films there is the word lionsgate in black text and on the right of it there is a black lion here is an intro Two thousand four to two thousand five, there is the word LGF in black text, and under it there are two black lines, and between them there is the word Lionsgate in black text, and under the lines there is the word Films in black text. Here is an intro. Two thousand four to the present. There is the word Lionsgate in black text. Here is an intro. 2005 to the present. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Walt Disney Animation Studios. It is an American animation studio that creates animated features and short films for the Walt Disney Company. 1986 to 1994. Here we have the logo of the first Walt Disney Animation Studios name, Walt Disney Animation. There is a Mickey Mouse drawing on a paper, and under it there are the words Walt Disney and Animation in black text. 1994 to 1997. Here we have the logo of the first Walt Disney Animation Studios name, Walt Disney Feature Animation. There are the words Walt and Disney in red text, and under them there are the words feature and animation in black text, and under them there is a red line. 1997 to 2006, there are the words Walt and Disney in blue text, and under them there are two blue lines, and between them, there are the words feature and animation in blue text. 2006 to the present, they changed its name to Walt Disney Animation Studios. There is a Mickey Mouse waving and under him there is a black line, and under it there are the words Walt and Disney in black text, and under them, there are the words Animaton and Studios in red text. Here is the word mark. 2020 to the present is a secondary logo, there are the words Walt and Disney in black text, and under them there are the words Animation and Studios in black text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Walt Disney Pictures. It is an American film studio and a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Studios, which is owned by the Walt Disney Company. 1929 to 1937, here we have the logo of the first Walt Disney Pictures name, 
Walt Disney Productions. There are the words Walt Disney and Productions in black text, and under them there are the words Mickey and Mouse in red text on a black outline, and under them there are the words Sound and Cartoons in white text on a black outline, and between these words, there is a Mickey Mouse waving, and under him, there are the words 2719 Hyperion and Hollowat in black text. 1937 to 1948, there are the words Walt and Disney in gray text. Here is an intro. Nineteen forty eight to nineteen seventy nine. The text is now in black text, and its font has changed. Here is an intro. Nineteen forty eight to nineteen eighty three. The font has changed, and now on the bottom there is the word productions in black text. Nineteen eighty three to nineteen eighty five. They changed its name to Walt Disney Pictures. The word productions has been replaced to the word pictures. Here is an intro. 1985 to 2006, now above the words Walt and Disney, there is a black castle with a black proved line behind it. Here is the horizontal version, the icon, the blue version and an intro. 2006 to 2011, the line has been removed, the castle is more detailed, and now it's inside a black rectangle. Here is the horizontal version, the blue version, the icon and an intro. 2011 to the present, the words Walt and pictures have been removed, and the font has changed. Here is the horizontal version, the blue version and an intro. 'm gonna talk about video Ella it is a Greek defunct home video production company 1982 to 1990 there is a white shape and under it there is a red shape and under it there are the words video and Ella in white text here is an intro 'm gonna talk about Starburns Industries. It is an innovative and imaginative full-service production company specializing in stop-motion, traditional 2D, and CG animation, as well as live-action production. 2012 to the present, there is a chef blinking one eye, and under him there are the words Starburns and Industries in black text. Here is the print version and an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Harmonious Claptrap. There is no info for this logo. 2013 to 2013, there is a man and a cat, and on the left of them there are the words harmonious and claptrap and white text. Here is an intro. 2013 to 2015, there are the words harmonious and claptrap and white text, and under them there is kind of a living room with a dog a cat, a man and a woman watching TV. Here is an intro. Did you get any of that? 2016 to 2019, there are the words harmonious and claptrap and white text, and under them, there is a living room with two dogs a cat and a man lying on a couch. Here is an intro. Did you get any of that? 2019 to the present, there is a man with a woman a dog and a cat. Here is an intro. Did you get any of that? Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Paws Inc. It is a comic studio and production company created by cartoonist Jim Davis to support Garfield series, comic strips and its licensing. 1981 to the present, there is a black circle, and inside it, there are five black circles representing a paw and under the circle, there are the words paws and ink in black text. Here is an intro. 'm now I'm gonna talk about Disney television animation. It is an American animation studio that creates, develops and produces animated television series, films, specials and other projects. 1990 to 1995, here we have the logo of the first Disney television animation's name, Walt Disney Television Animation. There is a colorful castle and on it there are the words produced by Walt Disney Television and Animation in white text. Here is the wordmark. 
1995 to 1997, there is a white half ring, and under it there is a white and blue castle, and under it, there are the words Walt and Disney in white text, and under them, there are the words television and animation in red text. 2003 to 2011, the text is now in blue text. Here is an intro. 2011 to 2013, they changed its name to Disney Television Animation. The word Walt has been removed, and the text is now in gray text. Here is an intro. 2013 to the present, there is Mickey Mouse walking, and on the right of it, there are the words Disney Television and Animation in black text. Here is a GIF. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Walt Disney Television. It is a subsidiary of Disney Media Networks that oversees television assets owned and operated by the Walt Disney Company. 1985 to 1996, here we have the logo of the first Walt Disney Television's name, Capital Cities Abk Inc. There is a black circle and inside it there is the word Abk in white text and under the circle, there are the words Capital Cities and Abk in black text. Here is an intro. 1996 to 2004, here we have the logo of the second Walt Disney Television's name, AB Group. There is a black circle and inside it there is the word AB in white text. Here is an intro. 2004 to 2007, here we have the logo of the third Walt Disney Television's name, Disney ABC Television Group. There is the word Disney in black text and on the right of it there is a black dot, and on the right of it there is a black circle, and inside it, there is the word Abk in white text and on the right of the circle, there are the words television and group in black text. 2007 to 2013, the dot was replaced to a gray line, the circle is now 3D, and the text on the right is now in gray text. 2013 to 2019, the circle is now 2D, the font of the text on the right has changed, and this text is now in black text. 2017 to 2019, here we have the logo of the fourth Walt Disney Television's name, Disney ABC ESPN Television. Now on the right of the circle there is a line and on the right of it, there is the word ESPN in red text, and on the right of it, there is the word ESPN in red text. 2019 to the present, they finally changed its name to Walt Disney Television. There are the words Walt Disney and Television in black text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Boulder Media. It is an Irish animation studio. 2000 to 2012, there is a gray rectangle, and inside it, there are the words Boulder and Media in blue and gray text. 2012 to the present, there are the words Boulder and Media in white text on a black outline. Here is a variant and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Ardman Animations. It is a British animation studio based in Bristol. 1989 to 1998, there is a black square, and inside it there are some black shapes, and coming out from one of them there is a white star, and on the right of it, there are two black stars, and under these stars, there are the words Ardman and animations in black text. Here is an intro. 1998 to the present, there is a red star, and on the bottom right of it, there is the word Ardman in red text. Here is an intro. 1998 to the present, there is a red star, and on the bottom right of it, there is the word Ardman in red text. Here is an intro. It is the theatrical motion picture production arm of the Nickelodeon TV channel. 1995 to 1998, there is an orange camera, and on it there is the word Nickelodeon in white text, and surrounding the camera there is green film stripe, and on it, there is the word movies in white text. Here is an intro. 1998 to 2000, there is an orange foot, and on it there is the word Nickelodeon in white text, and under the foot there is a blue shape, and on it, there is the word movies in white text. Here is an intro. 
2000 to 2008, there is an orange circle, and inside it there is the word Nickelodeon in white text, and on the right of the orange circle, there is another orange circle, and above it, there is a purple circle, and inside it, there is the word movies in white text. Here is the 3D version, a variant and an intro. Two thousand eight to two thousand nine, there is an orange spot, and on it there is the word Nickelodeon in white text, and on the right of the spot there is the word movies in orange text. Here is an intro. Two thousand nine to twenty nineteen, there is the word Nickelodeon in orange text, and under it there is the word movies in pink text. Here is an intro. 2018 to the present, there is the word movies in orange text. Here is an intro. 2020 to the present, the word movies is now in green text, and also its font has changed. Here is an intro. 2020. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about MGM Home Entertainment. That is the home video arm of the American media company Metro Goldwyn Mayer. 1980 to 1982, here we have the logo of the first MGM Home Entertainment's name, MGM CBS Home Video. There are the words MGM and CBS in black text divided by a black slash. Here is an intro. To 1982 to 1982, here we have the logo of the first MGM Home Entertainment's name, MGM UA Home Video. There are the words MGM and UA in black text, and under them there are the words Home and Video in black text. 1982 to 2005, there is a golden film stripe, and on it there are the words Ars Gratia and Artis in black text, and under these words, while in the middle of the stripes, there is a lion, and under the stripes, there are the words MGM and UA in black text, and under them there are two black lines, and between them, there are the words Home and Video in black text. Here is the print version and an intro. 1998 to 2005, they changed its name to MGM Home Entertainment. There are the words Metro Goldwyn and Mayer in black text, and under them there is a black film stripe, and on it there are the words Ars Gratia and Artis in black text, and under these words, while in the middle of the stripes, there is a lion, and on the sides of the lion, there are the words Trade and Mark in black text, and under the stripes, there are two black lines, and between them there are the words Home and Entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. 'm going to talk about Sunbeam Television. It is a privately held broadcasting company based in Miami, Florida, that owns three television stations in the United States. 1962 to the present, there is a red sphere, and under it there are two black lines, and between them, there are the words Sunbeam and television in black text. Okay, now I'm going to talk about ABC Circle Films. It was a television movie and series production company owned by ABC. 1971 to 1977, there are the words in ab circle and film in white text. Here is a variant and an intro. 1977 to 1977, there is a black circle on a yellow outline, and inside it, there are the words in ab circle and film in yellow text, except the word ab that is in white text. Here is an intro. 1977 to 1978, there is a dark blue circle, and inside it, there is the word ab in dark blue text, and under the circle, there are the words circle and films in dark red text. Here is an intro. 
1978 to 1983, there is a black circle, and inside it, there is the word ABC in white text, and under the circle, there are the words circle and films in yellow text. Here is an intro. From 1983 to 1989, there are the words ABC circle and films in black text. Here is an intro. From 1983 I'm gonna talk about Merv Griffin Entertainment. It is an American production company founded by American media mogul Merv Griffin on May 13, 1996. 1996 to 1998, here we have the logo of the first Merv Griffin Entertainment's name, Merv Griffin Productions. There is a blue rounded shape, and on it there is a silver animal, and under the shape there are the words Merv Griffin Productions, and 1997 in white text. Here is an intro. From 1998 to 2006, they changed its name to Merv Griffin Entertainment. There is a silver animal and under it there are the words Merv Griffin and Entertainment in silver text. Here is an intro. From 2006 to 2008, the background is now blue and the font has changed. Here is an intro. 2010 to 2011, there is a red shape, and under it there are the words Merv and Griffin in red text, and under them there is the word entertainment in white text. Here is an intro. It's worth what is all new next week. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Merv Griffin Enterprises. It was a production company owned by Merv Griffin. 1963 to 1964, here we have the logo of the first Merv Griffin Enterprises name, Milburn Productions. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1964 to 1975, here we have the logo of the second Merv Griffin Enterprises name, Griffin Productions. There is a yellow animal and on the right of it, there are the words Griffin and Productions in yellow text. Here is an intro. nineteen seventy five to nineteen eighty four here we have the logo of the third merv griffin enterprises name merv griffin productions there is a black rounded shape and inside it there is a white animal on a black outline and under it there is a black line and under it there are the words merv griffin and productions in black text here is an intro 1984 to 1985 they changed its name to merv griffin enterprises the rectangle is now blue here is a variant and an intro. 1985 to 1994, there is a black animal, and on the right of it, there are the words Merv and Griffin in black text, and under them there is the word Enterprises in black text. Here is an intro. 1986 to 1987, now under the word Enterprises there are the words a unit of the Coca-Cola and company in black text. Here is an intro. By Merv Griffin Enterprises. 1987 to 1988, now above the animal there are the words produced and by in gray text, the word that has been removed, and the word company was replaced to the word television. Here is an intro. Jeopardy is a production of Merv Griffin Enterprises. 1988 to 1991, the words produced and by have been removed, and the words under the word Enterprises have been replaced to the words a unit of Columbia Pictures Entertainment and Inc. in black text. Here is an intro. Wheel of Fortune is produced by Merv Griffin Enterprises. 1991 to 1992, now everything is white, and the word Columbia was replaced to the word Sony. Here is an intro. Merv Griffin Enterprises produces Wheel of Fortune. 1992 to 1994, now everything is black and on a yellow background, and above the words Merv and Griffin, there are the words produced and by in black text. Here is an intro. Jeopardy is a production of Merv Griffin Enterprises. I'm gonna talk about CBS Studios. It is an American television production company which is a subsidiary of CBS Entertainment Group unit of Viacom's. 2009 to 2020, here we have the logo of the first CBS Studios name, CBS Television Studios. There is a blue CBS logo, and on the right of it, there are the words CBS Television and Studios in gray text. Here is the print version, the stacked version and an intro. 2020 to the present, they changed its name to CBS Studios. The word television has been removed, the word studios is bigger, and now everything is black. Here is an intro. 
All right, now I'm gonna talk about Entertainment One. It is a Canadian multinational entertainment company and a subsidiary of American toy manufacturer Hasbro. 1970 to 1980, here we have the logo of the first Entertainment One's name, Records on Wheels. There is the word records in half black half white text, and under it there are the words on and wheels in black text, and under them there is a black thing with two black wheels. 1980 to 2005, here we have the logo of the second Entertainment One's name, Row Entertainment. There is the word row in red text and under on it, there are the words music and video in white text. 2005 to 2009, they changed its name to Entertainment One. There is a letter E in gray text, and inside it there is a red number one, and on the right of the letter E there are the words entertainment and one in black text. 2009 to 2010, they changed its name to E1 Entertainment. There is the word E1 in white text on a blue outline, and under it, there is the word entertainment in white text. Here is the print version and an intro. In 2010 to 2015, they changed its name back again to Entertainment One. There is a rounded blue square, and inside it, there is the word E1 in white text and under the square, there are the words Entertainment and One in blue text. Here is a bumper. In 2015 to the present, there is the word entertainment in blue text, and on the right of it, there is a blue rounded shape, and inside it, there is the word one in white text. Here is the short version and a bumper. I'm gonna talk about Walt Disney Television Production. It was the name of the American Television Production Division of the Walt Disney Company. 1954 to 1979, here we have the logo of the first Walt Disney Television's name, Walt Disney Productions. There are the words Walt and Disney in black text. 1979 to 1986, the font has changed. Here is an intro. 1985 to 2006, they changed its name to Walt Disney Television. There is a blue castle surrounded by a blue half ring, and under the castle, there are the words Walt Disney and television in gray text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Disney Media Distribution. It is the in-home sales and content distribution firm of Disney Media Networks, a division of the Walt Disney Company. 1985 to 1995, here we have the logo of the first Disney ABC Home Entertainment and Television Distribution's name, Buena Vista Television. There is a black castle surrounded by a black half ring, and under the castle, there are the words Buena Vista and Television in black text. Here is an intro. 1995 to 2007, there is a black rectangle, and inside it, there are some white lines representing a planet and three shooting stars, and under the rectangle, there are the words Buena Vista and television in black text. Here is the colored version and an intro. 2007 to 2013, here we have the logo of the second Disney ABC Home Entertainment and Television Distribution's name, Disney ABC Domestic Television. There is a blue Disney logo, and on the right of it there is a blue star, and on the right of it, there is a blue ab logo, and under it there is a black line, and under it, there are the words domestic and television in black text. Here is an intro. 2013 to 2015, the app logo isn't blue anymore, the font of the words domestic and television have changed, and these words are now in gray text. Here is an intro. 2015 to 2020, here we have the logo of the second Disney Media Distribution's name, Disney ABC Home Entertainment and Television Distribution. There are the logos of Disney and APC, and between them there is a gray line, and under these logos, there are the words home entertainment and television and distribution in black text. Here is an intro. 2020 to 
2020 to the present as a primary logo, they changed its name to Disney Media Distribution. There is the word Disney in black text with Disney's font, and under it there are the words platform and distribution in black text. Here is an intro. 2021 to the present is a secondary logo, they changed its name to Disney Platform Distribution. The word media was replaced to the word platform. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Rankin Base Animated Entertainment. It was an American production company known for its seasonal television specials, particularly its work in stop-motion animation. 1959 to 1968, here we have the logo of the first Rankin Base Animated Entertainment's name, Videocraft International Limited. There are the words Videocraft Productions Videocraft International Arthur Rankin J.R. and Associates in black text, and under them there are three black rounded rectangles, and under them, there are the words Divisions of Videocrafts and incorporated in black text. Here is an intro. 1968 to 1971, here we have the logo of the second Rankin Base Animated Entertainment's name, Rankin Base Productions. There is a dark blue rectangle and on the right of it, there are two circles one dark blue and one blue. Here is a variant and an intro. 1971 to 1985, the rectangle is thicker. Here is an intro. 1985 to 1989, they changed its name to Rankin Base Animated Entertainment. The logo is the same. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Fred Rogers Productions. It is an American non-profit organization specializing in children's programming for public television in the United States. 1971 to 1979, here we have the logo of the first Fred Rogers Productions name, Family Communications. There are the words produced by Family Communications Inc. in association with WCAD and Pittsburgh in white text. 1979 to 2001, there are the words Family and Communications in red text. Here is an intro. 2001 to 2010, there is the word Family in black text, and on the right of it, there is a red line, and above it, there is a red shape, and under the line, there is the word Communications in black text, and under it, there is a red line. 2010 to 2018, here we have the logo of the second Fred Rogers production's name, the Fred Rogers Company. There is a drawing of a man smelling and on the right of it, there are the words the Fred Rogers and Company in gray and red text. Here is the version with the slogan and an intro. 2018 to the present, they changed its name to Fred Rogers Productions. There is a drawing of a happy tiger's face, and on the right of it there is a blue shape, and on it, there are the words Fred Rogers and Productions in red and black text. Here is a variant and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Fox Studios Australia. It is a film and television studio in Sydney currently part of the Walt Disney Company since 2019, occupying the site of the former Sydney showground at Moore Park. 1998 to the present, there is a black rectangle, and on it there are two white searchlights, and between them, there are the words Fox Studios and Australia in white text, and between all the words there is a white line. Here is the inverted bird. All right, now I'm gonna talk about La Vision Pictures. It is one of the largest film production and distribution companies in China. 2011 to the present, there are two shapes one orange one red and pink and one purple, and on the right of the shapes, there are some words in Chinese in pink text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Stupid Monkey. It is an American production company and animation studio, formed by Seth Green, Matthew Senreich, John Harvatine IV, and Eric Towner. 2005 to 2009, there are the words stupid and monkey in black text on a white outline. Here is an intro. <laughs> 2008 to 2009, there is a monkey's head, and under it, there are the words stupid and monkey in brown text. 2009 to the present, there is a monkey's head, and on the right of it, there is the word stupid in silver text on a black outline, and under it, there is the word monkey in black text. Here is an intro. Stupid monkey. 
Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Caralco Pictures. It was an American independent motion picture production company that existed from 1976 to 1995, founded by Mario Kasser and Andrew G. Vajna. 1982 to 1987, there is a golden shape representing a letter C, and under that shape, there is the word Caralco in black text. Here is a print version and an intro. nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty eight the shape is now silver here is an intro nineteen eighty seven to nineteen ninety five the font has changed and the logo is darker here is an intro twenty fifteen to twenty seventeen now under the word Caralco there are the words I told you I'd be in back in gray text. Here is an intro nineteen eighty eight to nineteen ninety seventeen the words I told you I'd be back have been removed. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Scimitar Entertainment. It was an American media company that sold music, videos, DVDs, and computer software. 1984 to 1986, there is the word Scimitar in gray text and under it, and behind the letter S there is a sword, and under the sword, there are the words Entertainment and Inc. in white text. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty six to two thousand there are some black lines and on it there is a white shape representing a letter s and under the shape there is the word scimitar in black text and under it there are two black lines here is an intro all right now i'm gonna talk about blue sky studios it is an american computer animation film studio based in greenwich connecticut 1987 to 2005, there are the words blue and sky in gray text, and under it, there is a blue line. Here is a variant and an intro. Two thousand five to twenty thirteen, there is a light blue shape, and inside it, there are the words blue and sky in gray text. Here is the print version and an intro. twenty thirteen to the present, there are the words blue and sky in blue and dark blue text, and under it, there is the word studios in black text. Here is the print version, a variant and an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Miramax. It is an American entertainment company known for producing and distributing films and television shows. 1980 to 1987, here we have the logo of the first Miramax's name, Miramax Films. There is a letter M made out of film strip and on the right of it, there are the words Miramax and films in black text. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty seven to two thousand eight there is the word miramax in black text and under it there are two black lines and between them there is the word films in black text here is a variant and an intro
2008 to 2011, the lines are closer to the word films. Here is an intro. From 2011 to the present, they changed its name to Miramax. There is the word Miramax in black text. Here is a variant, the print version of it and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Fremantle. It is a British-based international content production and distribution subsidiary of Bertelsmann's RTL Group and headquartered in London. 2001 to 2018, here we have the logo of the first Fremantle's name, Fremantle Media. There are the words Fremantle and Media in black text, and on the right of them, there is a drawing of a blue sphere. Here is the icon and an intro. From 2018 to the present, they changed its name to Fremantle. There is the word Fremantle in black text. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about Shemaru. It is an Indian entertainment company known primarily for content aggregation and distribution, especially of Indian movies and television shows. 1963 to 2018, there is a blue rectangle, and inside it, there is the word Shemaru in blue text, and under it, there are the words entertainment and infinite in black and red text. Also, surrounding the rectangle there are two blue film roll. Here is an intro. From 2018 to the present, there is a pink orange yellow green and blue shape, and on it there is the word Shemaru in white text, and under the shape, there are the words India Kush and Hua in pink text. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Tallinn Productions. It was an American movie and television production company operated by Mike Tallinn and Brian Robbins in 1994 and disestablished in 2013. 1994 to 2012, here we have the logo of the first Tallinn Productions name, Tallinn Robbins Productions. There are the letters TRP in brown and yellow text, and under them there are the words Tallinn Robbins and Productions in brown and yellow text. Here is an intro. 1998 to 2003, here we have the logo of the second Tallinn production's name, Marquis Tallinn Robbins. There is the word Marquis in silver text, and under it there are the words Tallinn and Robbins in blue text. Here is an intro. 2012 to 2013, they changed its name to Tallinn Productions. There are the words Tallinn and Productions in white text. I'm gonna talk about Philips Interactive Media. It was a division of the titular Dutch conglomerate that created the CDI, an interactive multimedia CD player that could play games and movies. 1990 to 1995, there is a blue rectangle, and inside it there are the words Philips and Interactive in white text, and under them there is a white line, and under it, there is the word media in white text. Here is an intro. Nineteen ninety five to nineteen ninety eight, there are the words Philips and Media in blue text, and under them there is a red line. Here is an intro. Nineteen ninety eight to nineteen ninety eight. Okay, now I'm going to talk about illumination. It is an American film and animation studio founded by Chris Melodandri in 2007 and owned by Universal Pictures, a division of NBC Universal, which is itself a division of Comcast. 
2007 to 2017, here we have the logo of the first Illumination's name, Illumination Entertainment. There are the words Illumination and Entertainment in black text. Here is the gray version and an intro. In 2017 to the present, they changed its name to Illumination. There is the word Illumination in black text. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about NBC Universal. It is an American mass media and entertainment conglomerate owned by Comcast and headquartered at 30 Rockefeller Plaza in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. 2004 to 2014. Here we have the logo of the first NBC Universal's name, NBC Universal, but with a space between the words NBC and Universal. There are two black shapes representing a circle, and between them there are the words NBC and Universal in black text, and between the words there is the NBC peacock. Here is the print version and an intro. 2011 to the present, they changed its name to NBC Universal. There are the words NBC and Universal in purple text. Here is the print version, a variant and an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Cossiner. It was a French production and distribution company. 1938 to 1952, there are the words distribute and par in white text, and under them there is a seal, and behind it there is a white lightning, and under the seal, there is the word Cossiner in black text on a white outline. Here is an intro. Nineteen fifty two to nineteen fifty seven, there are two black shapes, and between them there is a seal, and under it, there is the word Cossiner in black text, and under it there is a black banner, and inside it, there are the words Comptoir Cinematographique du and Nord in white text, and under the banner, there is the word Presente in black text. Here is an intro. 1957 to 1960, there is the word Cossiner in white text on a scary background. Here is an intro. 1960. All right, now I'm gonna talk about King World Productions. It was a production company and a syndicator of television programming in the United States, independently established in 1964 until acquired by CBS in 2000, with its eventual 2007 incorporation into CBS television distribution. 1964 to 1977, there are the words King World Productions and Ink in blue text, and on the top right of them, there is an eagle holding a globe. 1977 to 1984, there is a film strike, and on it there are the letters K, W and P in black text. Here is an intro. 1984 to 1999, there is the word King World in blue text, and under it there are three blue lines, and on them there is a white star. Here is an intro. 1999 to 2007, there is the word King World in dark blue text, and under it there is a blue shape, and on it, there is a white star. Here is an intro. 2007. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about LBS Communications. It was a television production and syndication company founded in 1976 by advertising pioneer Henry Siegel. 1976 to 1992, there are the letters pounds and s in red text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment. It is the home entertainment distribution arm of the Walt Disney Company. 1980 to 1986, here we have the logo of the first Walt Disney Studios home entertainment's name, Walt Disney Home Video. There are the words Walt and Disney in black text, and under them there are the words home and video in black text. Here is a variant, the red version and an intro. 
1984 to 2001, the words Walt and Disney are now horizontal, and the font of the words home and video have changed. Here is a variant and an intro. Two thousand one to two thousand eight. Here we have the logo of the second Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment's name, Walt Disney Home Entertainment. There are the words Walt and Disney in black text, and under them there is a black star, and coming out from it, there is a black curve. Down under the line, there are the words Home and Entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. In 2007 to 2012, they changed its name to Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment. There is a blue square and inside it there is a blue castle, and above it, there is a blue shooting star, and under the square, there are the words Walt Disney Studios Home and Entertainment in gray text. Here is the print version, the horizontal version and an intro. 2012 to the present, now everything is black, and the words have been replaced to the word Disney. Here is the horizontal version and an intro. 2012. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about CBS Media Ventures. It is the syndication arm of Viacom's founded in August of 2006, when CBS folded its King World and CBS Paramount domestic television arms into a new entity. 2006 to 2007, here we have the logo of the first CBS Media Ventures name, CBS Paramount Domestic Television. There is the CBS logo that consists in a black circle inside a black shape, and on the right of the logo, there are the words CBS and Paramount in black text, and in two different fonts, and under them there are two black lines, and under them there are the words domestic and television in black text, and on the right of them, there is the Paramount logo that consists in 22 black stars, and under them there is a black circle, and inside it, there is the word Paramount in white text, and under it, there is a white mountain. Here is an intro. 2007 to 2021, here we have the logo of the second CBS Media Ventures name, CBS Television Distribution. There is the CBS logo and on the right of it, there is the word CBS in black text, and on the right of it, there are the words television and distribution in black text. Here is the stacked version, a variant and an intro. 2021 to the present, they changed its name to CBS Media Ventures. There is a dark blue CBS logo, and on the right of it, there is the word CBS in dark blue text, and on the right of it, there are the words Media and Ventures in gray text. Here is the print version, a variant and an intro. 2021. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about PAP Video. It was a home video company in Greece. 1986 to 1988, there is a white rectangle, and inside it there are the words PAP and video in white text on a red outline. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about Gunther Wall Productions. It is an American production company, which was founded in 1990 by Lee Gunther and Michael Wall. 1990 to 2001, there is a black circle, and on it there are the words Gunther and Wall in white text, and between them there is a white circle, and under it there is a white icon that looks like a letter W, and under it there are the words Productions and Inc. in white text. Here is an intro. 
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Intrepid Pictures. It is an American independent film and television production company dedicated to producing elevated commercial content for global mainstream audiences. 2006 to 2012, there are the words Intrepid and Pictures in red text, and between them there is man standing in front of a horizontal lightning. Here is an intro. From 2012 to the present, there is a black square, and inside it there is a man standing in front of a lightning and on the right of the square, there are the words intrepid and pictures in black text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about 987 Productions. There is no info for this logo. 2013 to the present, there is an orange number 9 with a black circle inside it representing an eye, and on the right of the number there is the word 8 in blue text, and on the right of it there is an another orange number 7 with a white of its side, and on the right of it there is the word productions in blue text. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about 100 chickens. There is no info for this logo. 2012 to the present, there are the words 100 and chickens in blue and orange text, and above the letter I there is a chicken. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Bona Film Group. It is a Chinese production company and distributor of films from mainland China and Hong Kong. 1999 to 2005, here we have the logo of the first Bona Film Group's name, Polybona Films. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 2005 to 2007, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 2007 to 2010, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 2011 to the present, they changed its name to Bona Film Group. There is the word Bona in dark blue and light blue text, and under it, there are the words Film and Group in black text. 2011 to 2015, there are the words Bona Film and Group in blue text, and under the words Film and Group, there are some words in Chinese in white text. Here is an intro. From 2015 to the present, there are the words Bona Film and Group in blue text, and under them there are some words in Chinese in blue text. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Deluxe Digital Studios. There is no info for this logo. 2002 to 2005 and 2004 to 2005, there is a red circle, and inside it, there is the word Deluxe in white text, and under the circle, there are the words Digital and Studios in black text, and under them, there are the words Production and Services in white text. Here is the 2D version and an intro. From 2005 to 2006, there are the words production and services in white text, and under them there is a red rectangle, and inside it there is a red sphere, and inside it, there is the word deluxe in white text, and under the sphere, there are the words digital and studios in black text. Here is an intro. From 2006 to 2016, there is a red sphere, and inside it, there is the word deluxe in white text and under the sphere, there are the words digital and studios in black text. Here is an intro. From 2013 to the present, there is a red circle made of a lot of circles, and on it there is the word deluxe in white text. 
2016 to the present, there is a red sphere, and inside it there is the word deluxe in white text. Here is an intro. In 2017 to the present, there is a red ring, and inside it there is the word deluxe in red text. Here is an intro. In 2017, I'm gonna talk about Anchor Bay Films. There is no info for this logo. 2009 to 2016, there is a blue 3D letter and under it, there are the words Anchor Bay and Films in black text, and under them, there are the words A Stars and Company in black text. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Anchor Bay Entertainment. It was an American home entertainment and production company. 1985 to 1998, here we have the logo of the first Anchor Bay Entertainment's name, Video Treasures. There is the word video in black text, and under it there is a red line, and under it there is the word treasures in black text. Here is an intro. In 1995 to 2006, they changed its name to Anchor Bay Entertainment. There is a white rectangle on a black outline, and inside it there are the words Anchor and Bay in black text, and under them there is a black square with cool background inside it, and on the background there is a blue sailboat, and under the square, there is the word Entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. In 2006 to 2008, now under the word entertainment there are the words of stars and company in black text. Here is an intro. In 2008 to 2009, there is a black rectangle on a blue outline, and inside it there are the words anchor and bay in white and blue text, and under them, there is the word entertainment in white text, and under it, there is a rectangle with a background inside it, and on it, there is a white sailboat with a white film strip on it, and under the background, there are the words of stars and company in white text. Here is an intro. In 2009 to 2017, there is a blue letter and under it, there are the words Anchor Bay and Entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. In 2009, okay, now I'm gonna talk about Columbia TriStar Television. It was an American television production and distribution studio that was active for eight years from 1994 to 2002. 1994 to 2002, there are the words Columbia and TriStar in black text, and under them there is a black square, and inside it there is a woman holding a torch in front of clouds, and on the right of the square there is a black square, and inside it there is a horse with wings also in front of clouds, and under the squares there is the word television in black text. Here is the colored version, the inverted version and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about big ticket television. It is an Emmy Award-winning American production company. 1995 to 1999, there is a black rounded rectangle, and inside it, there is a white curved line representing a smile, and under the rectangle, there are the words big and ticket in purple text, and under them there is the word television in red purple yellow green and blue text, and under it, there is a green rectangle, and inside it, there are the words a subsidiary of spelling entertainment and group in white text. Here is an intro. 1999 to the present, there is a blue rounded rectangle, and inside it, there is a white curved line representing a smile, and under the rectangle, there are the words big and ticket in green text, and under them, there is the word television in blue text. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about Nova Pictures. It is a development, production and distribution company. 1982 to the present, there are the words Nova and Pictures in blue text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Shaw Brothers Studio. It is the largest film production company of Hong Kong that operated from 1925 to 2011. 1929 to 1930, here we have the logo of the first Shaw Brothers Studio's name, South Sea Films Tianyi Film Company. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 
1930 to 1952, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1952 to 1956, here we have the logo of the second Shaw Brothers Studios name, Shaw's Film Company. There is a brown shield on a white outline, and inside it there are two letters S in yellow text. 1956 to 1958, there is a white shield on a red outline, and inside it, there are the words of Shaw's in production in red text, and under them there is a white banner on a red outline, and on it, there are some words in Chinese in red text. Here is an intro. Nineteen forty something to nineteen forty five, there is a blue shield on a red outline, and inside it, there are the words of Shaw's in production in red text, and under them there is a yellow banner, and inside it, there are some words in Chinese in red text. Here is an intro. Nineteen forty six to nineteen fifty eight, there is a bronze shield, and inside it there are the words of Shaw in production in bronze text, and under these words there is a bronze banner, and inside it there are some words in Chinese in bronze text, and coming out from the shield, there are a bunch of lines. Nineteen fifty eight to twenty eleven and twenty fifteen to twenty eighteen, they changed its name to Shaw Brothers Studio. There is a blue shield on a black and yellow outline, and inside it there are the letters S and B in yellow text on a black outline. Here is an intro. 2018 to the present, there is a blue shield on a yellow outline, and inside it, there are the words Shaw and Brothers in yellow text, and under the shield, there are some words in Chinese in yellow text, and under them, there are the words Shaw Brothers in pictures in yellow text. Here is an intro. 2018 to 2018. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Marvista Entertainment. It is an American production company, based in Westwood, Los Angeles, California. 2003 to 2012, there is a background with of ocean and cliff, and on the background, there is te word Mar Vista in white text, and under the background, there is the word entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. 2012 to 2017, there is a sun and on it there is a white cliff, and under it, there is a reflection of the sun, and under all these things, there are the words Mar Vista and Entertainment in black text. Here is the horizontal version and an intro. 2017 to the present, the font has changed, and the sun is whiter. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about United Plankton Pictures. It is an independent studio that exclusively produces the Nickelodeon animated television series SpongeBob SquarePants. 1997 to 1997, here we have the logo of the first United Plankton Pictures name, Steven Hillenburg. There are the words created and by in black text, and under them there is a drawing of SpongeBob, and under it there are the words Steven and Hillenburg in black text. Here is an intro. 1998 to the present, they changed its name to United Plankton Pictures. There is a green shape on a blue outline, and inside it there are the words United Plankton and Pictures in blue text, and between the words Plankton and Pictures there is a drawing of five characters. Here is an intro. I'm gonna talk about Yubu Productions. It was an independent production company founded in 1982 by television producer Gary David Goldberg. 1982 to 2002, there are the words Yubu and Productions in black text. Here is an intro. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Laura Martella Pictures. 
It was an entertainment company established in April 1986 with the merger of Lorimar Television and Telepictures. 1986 to 1989, there are the words Lorimar and Telepictures in black text except the fonts are different. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. It is the home video distribution division of American film studio Universal Pictures, owned by the Universal Film and Entertainment Division of Universal, which is owned by Comcast. 1980 to 1983, here we have the logo of the first Universal Pictures Home Entertainment's name, MCA Video Cassette Incorporated. There are the words Video Cassette and Ink in black text, and under them there is the word Nka in blue text. Here is the print version and an intro. nineteen eighty one to nineteen eighty three here we have the logo of the second universal pictures home entertainment's name mca video disc there is the word mka in yellow text and under it there is the word video disc in red pink purple blue light blue green and light green text here is the print version and an intro nineteen eighty three to nineteen ninety here we have the logo of the third universal pictures home entertainment's name mca home video there is a black line and between them there is the word mka in black text and under it there is a black rectangle and inside it there are the words home and video in black text here is an intro nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety eight here we have the logo of the fourth universal pictures home entertainment's name mca universal home video there is a 2d earth and on it there are the words mka and universal in black text and under them there is a black line and under it there are the words home and video in black text here is a variant and an intro 1997 to 2005, here we have the logo of the fifth Universal Pictures Home Entertainment's name, Universal Studios Home Video. There is a black earth, and in the middle of it there is the word Universal in black text. Here is an intro. 2005 to 2012, here we have the logo of the sixth Universal Pictures Home Entertainment's name, Universal Studios Home Entertainment. Now under the earth there are the words Universal Studios Home and Entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. 2012 to 2016, the font of the word universal has changed. Here is the colored version and an intro. 2016 to the present, they finally changed its name to Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. The word studios has been replaced to the word pictures. Here is an intro. 2021 to the present is a secondary logo, the word Universal Pictures Home and Entertainment are now under the word Universal and now everything is blue. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Williams Street Productions. 
It is an American animation and live action television production studio owned by the Global Kids, Young Adults and Classics division of Warner Bros. Entertainment, a unit of AT&T's Warner Media. 1995 to 1999. Here we have the logo of the first Williams Street Productions name, Ghost Planet Industries. There is a building, and under it there are the words Ghost Planet and Industries in gray text. Here is an intro. nineteen ninety nine to the present they changed its name to williams street productions the words ghost planet industries have been replaced to the words williams street and productions in black text here is the byline in an intro okay now i'm gonna talk about air programs international it is a television company owned by hanna barbera 1966 to 1972. There is the word oppie in purple text, and on the right of it there is a black dot, and serrating it there are three black shapes. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Epic Music Video. It is the home entertainment division of Epic Records, a subsidiary of Sony Music Entertainment Incorporated. 1991 to 1998 there are three blue shapes and on them there is a mic and under the shapes there are the words epic music and video in white text here is an intro Nineteen ninety eight to twenty ten, there is a yellow shape, and in the middle of it there is a silver shape, and on it there is the word epic and black text, and under the yellow shape there is a yellow rectangle. There are the words epic music and video in yellow text. Here is an intro. Two thousand six to twenty eleven and twenty fifteen to the present, there is the word epic and blue and orange gradient text on a white outline. Here is the three D version and an intro. Twenty eleven to twenty fifteen, there is the word epic and red text. I'm gonna talk about Troublemaker Studios. It is a film production company founded and owned by filmmaker Robert Rodriguez and producer Elizabeth Avalon. 1991-2000, here we have the logo of the first Troublemaker Studios name, Los Hooligans Productions. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 2000 to the present, they changed its name to Troublemaker Studios. There are the words Troublemaker and Studios in orange text. Here is an intro. 2000s. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Glitch Productions. It is an Australian animation studio based in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. 2017 to 2017, here we have the logo of the first Glitch Productions name, Glitchy Boy. There is a blue handheld video game console, and on its screen there are the words Glitchy and Boy in green and white text. Here is an intro. 2017 to 2018, there is the lower part of the console, and under it there are the words glitchy and boy in black text. Here is an intro. 2018 to the present, they changed its name to Glitch Productions. There is a black triangular shape, and on it there is a white lower part of handheld console, and under it there is the word glitch in white text on a black outline, and under the shape there is the word productions in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. 2020 to the present, the shape is now white, the lower part is now black, the word glitch is now in black text, and on a white outline and the word productions is now in white text. Here is an intro. 2020. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Pill Animation. It is an animation studio founded by award-winning animator and director, Sharon Gazet, who is their creative director and co-CEO. 2005 to 2010, there is a black B, and under it there are the words pill and animation in black text. 2010 to 2014, 
there are the words pill and animation in black text, and between them there is a black rectangle, and on it there is a yellow character that looks like a camera. 2014 to the present, there is a peanut, and under it there are the words pill and animation in brown text. I am going to talk about signer. 1985 to 1993, there is the word signer in blue text formed by some lines, and the dot in the letter I is red. Also the letters N and R together. Here is a bumper. Nineteen ninety three to two thousand four, the letter N and aren't together anymore. Here is a bumper. Two thousand to two thousand four, the text is now in white text and inside a blue rounded shape. Here is a variant and a bumper. I'm going to talk about searchlight pictures. 1995 to 1997 is primary logo and 1997 to 2020 is secondary logo, here we have the logo of the first searchlight picture's name, Fox Searchlight Pictures. There is the word Fox in white text, and under it there is the word searchlight in white text, and under it, there is the word pictures in white text, and on the sides of it, there are two white searchlights. Here is the inverted version and an intro. Nineteen ninety seven to twenty twenty, there is the word fox in white text, and under it there is a white line, and under it there is the word searchlight in white text, and under it there is a white line, and under it there is the word pictures in white text, and on the sides of the logo there are two white searchlights. Here is the inverted version and an intro. From 2020 to the present, they changed its name to Searchlight Pictures. The word Fox and the first line have been removed. Here is the inverted version and an intro. I'm going to talk about 20th Century Animation. It is an animation subsidiary of the Walt Disney Studios, a division of the Walt Disney Company. 1994 to 2000, here we have the logo of the first 20th Century Fox Animation's name, Fox Animation Studios. There is a black shape and inside it there are the words Fox and Animation in white text on a black outline, and behind the word Animation, there is a white shape, and on it, there is the word Studios in black text. Here is the colored version and the 3D version. 1999 to 2020, here we have the logo of the third 20th Century Animation's name, 20th Century Fox Animation. There is the word 20th in golden text, and under it there is a golden line, and under it, there are the words Century and Fox in golden text, and under them there is a golden line, and under it, there is the word Animation in golden text. Also, everything is surrounded by four searchlights. Here is the print version and an intro. From 2020 to the present, they finally changed its name to 20th Century Animation. The word Fox has been removed. I'm going to talk about SF Studios. It is a Swedish film production company, distributor and movie theater chain based in Stockholm, Sweden, and owned by the Bonnier Group. 1921 to 1964, here we have the logo of the first SF Studios name, Svensk Film Industry. There is a black circle and inside it there are the letters S and F in white text. Here is an intro.
1964 to 1986, the circle is now brown on a yellow outline, and the text is now in yellow text. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty six to twenty sixteen the circle is now white on a pink outline and the text is now in pink text here is an intro twenty sixteen to the present they changed its name to sf studios there is a red circle and inside it there are the letters S and F in red text, and under the circle, there is the word studios in red text. Here is a variant and an intro. I'm going to talk about 20th Century Studios Home Entertainment. It is the home video arm of 20th Century Studios. 1995 to 2020, here we have the logo of the first 20th Century Studios Home Entertainment's name, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. There are two white searchlights, and in the middle of them there is the word 20th in white text, and under it there is a white line, and under it, there is the word century in white text, and under it there is a white line, and under it, there is the word fox in white text, and under it, there are the words home and entertainment in black text. Here is the colored version, a variant and an intro. nineteen ninety five to two thousand six the font of the words home and entertainment has changed here is the colored version and an intro twenty ten to twenty twenty the words on the bottom have been removed and now on the right of the words century and fox there are the words home and entertainment in white text here is the colored version and an intro twenty twenty to the present, they finally changed its name to 20th Century Studios Home Entertainment. The words home and entertainment have been removed and the font has changed. I'll be talking about Cartoon Network Studios. Cartoon Network Studios is an American animation studio owned by Warner Bros. 1994 to 1996, there is the old Cartoon Network logo that consists in a checkerboard, and on it, there are the words cartoon and network in black and white text. 1996 to 1997, now under that logo there is the word studios in black text. Here is an intro. 1997 to 1997, the checkerboard is bigger, and the word studios is now on the checkerboard and in black and white text. 2000 to 2001, there is a building and under it there is the checkerboard, and on the right of it, there is a black rectangle, and inside it, there is the word studios in white text. Here is the word mark and an intro. 2006 to 2006, now under the building there are only the words Cartoon Network and Studios in black text. Here is the word mark. 2001 to 2009, there is the checkerboard logo, and under it there is a black rectangle, and inside it, there is the word Studios in white text. Here is a variant and an intro. 2001 to 2012, the logo is now on a white outline. Here is a variant and an intro. Hello. 2003 to 2010 and 2014 to 2014, the font of the word studios has changed. Here is a variant and an intro. 
2007 to 2007, there are two squares on red shadows, one black, one white, and on them, there are the letters C and N in white and black text. 2010 to 2015, there are three white square and on the bottom right of them there is a white square, and under the squares, there are the words Cartoon Network and Studios in white text. Here is a variant and an intro. 2013 to the present, there is a black rectangle, and inside it there is the Cartoon Network checkerboard logo, and under it, there is the word Studios in white text. Here is the inverted version, a GIF, and an intro. <laughs> I'll be talking about Fulmoro. It is an Italian media company, involved primarily in the production and distribution of films, founded in 1975 by the father of Aurelio De Laurentiis, Luigi De Laurentiis. 1975-1990, there are the words Mpulkstix Fulmoro SRL all right in this motion picture reserved under international and conventions in white text, and under them there are the words Leviathan, and from in white text, and under them there are two white lines, and between them, there is the word Fulmoro in white text. 1990 to the present, there is the word Fulmoro in black text, except the letter is giant. Here is the inverted version, the golden version, the red version. I'll be talking about ITV Studios Home Entertainment. It is a British multinational home entertainment production. 1982 to 1986, here we have the logo of the first ITV Studios Home Entertainment's name, Longman Video. On a red, green and blue background, there are the words Longman and Video in white text, and on the right of them, there are some white shapes. Here is an intro. nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty nine here we have the logo of the second itv studios home entertainment's name screen legends video there is a red rectangle on a black and yellow outline and inside it there is a white shape and on it there is a white star on a black outline and under the star there are the words screen and legends in white text here is an intro <laughs> Nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety two. Here we have the logo of the third ITV Studios Home Entertainment's name, Pickwick Video. There is the word Pickwick in red text, and under it there is the word video in dark blue text, and under it there is a red loony. Here is an intro. nineteen ninety two to nineteen ninety five there is the word pickwick in blue text here is an intro nineteen ninety five to nineteen ninety seven here we have the logo of the fourth itv studios home entertainment's name carlton video there is the word Carlton in red text, except the letter T is small, and under the word there is the word video in black text. Here is an intro. 1997 to 1999, here we have the logo of the fifth ITV Studios Home Entertainment's name, Carlton Home Entertainment. The word video was replaced to the words home and entertainment. Here is an intro. 1999 to 2002, they changed its name back again to Cartlon Video. The words home and entertainment have been removed, the word Carlton is now in black text, and on the top right of the word there is a black star, and on it there is a white star. Here is an intro. 2000 to 2002, now under the word Carlton there is the word video in black text. 2002 to 2004, here we have the logo of the 6th ITV Studios home entertainment's name, Carlton Visual Entertainment. The star is now orange gradient, and the word video was replaced to the words visual and entertainment in orange text. 
2004-2013, here we have the logo of the 7th ITV Studios home entertainment's name, Granada Venture. There is a letter G in pink text and in the middle of the letter, there is the word Granada in purple text, and under the letter G there is the word Ventures in purple text. Here is an intro. Two thousand six to two thousand nine. Here we have the logo of the eighth ITV Studios home entertainment's name, ITV DVD. There is a blue rectangle, and inside it there is the word "it" in white text, and on the right of the rectangle there is the word "DVD" in black text. Here is an intro. Two thousand seven to two thousand eight. They finally changed its name to ITV Studios Home Entertainment. There is a blue and pink shape and on the right of it there is a black rectangle, and inside it, there is the word it in white text, and on the right of the black rectangle, there is the word studios in black text, and under it, there are the words home and entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. 2013 to 2019, there is the word it in blue, black, brown, pink and yellow text, and under it, there is the word studios in black text, and under it, there are the words global and entertainment in black text. Here is an intro. 2019 to the present, there are the words it been studios in blue text. Here is an intro. 2019. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for the next episode which is gonna be uploaded on Saturday. I am Peter John and this was Production Company's Logo History. Bye.